Guys, it's the kid, 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 it's the kid. Um, we didn't think that we would, we would get you guys. Um, just to give you a little update here, as I said again, I so you may be caught off guard because I'm called Morpheus here. This is this is my other YouTube account. I'm currently battling a copyright issue with YouTube currently, so I have been temporarily suspended from all hangouts and live streaming on the Football Hot account. But because you know the hunger is popping off and there are huge things to discuss i said you know what let me just try and do a few things so i had to put this whole new account and here we are because we have things to discuss so on the agenda we have to react to what happened in the champions league this week slightly look ahead to champions so, so, we will leave that to last okay. then we're going to address juventus and psg being champions i want 10 in a row for juventus Ooh. and manchester united should we induct the badge so um, without further ado, my gosh, where do we start? So let's start Tuesday. So Tuesday, what matches were on Tuesday? Uh, Barca, uh, United. Yeah, United. Uh, Barca. Barca United. Nah, who cares about yeah, that? Yeah, Barca United, yeah. Juve, Ajax. Okay, okay. So, no, 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 let's, no, no, let's, 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 let's just build up. So was anybody surprised by, so let me bring in your boy Barca. So were you surprised by... Did you want more from Barcelona? Did you want more goals, or that is what you expected in that Barcelona United game? Yeah, I expected us to blitz them just like that, and we did. We scored three goals, and we didn't concede a goal in the night. And um, for me, I knew we were going to beat them in the second leg, because even if you watch the first leg, we played way better than them. So, yeah. So, But do you think that Coutinho is vindicated by that goal, or he st is he still a flop? I literally told you and Ford that Coutinho was going to show you and prove to you guys why he's a Barcelona signing in the quarterfinals. And he did. He proved to us why he's a quality player in the... Okay, okay, so, so, okay so I think that because he scored that goal, it negates all the brickness he's done so far this season for Barcelona because he scored that goal. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I mean, I'm not trying to say that, but what I'm saying is if he scores another goal just like that in the semis, then I think it does negate him from. Okay, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see before he does in the summers. Okay, um, Christ, um, thoughts on the Barca game and is Coutinho now the real deal based on the goal? Um, I thought Barcelona deserved the win as they dominated from start to finish. Um, as for Coutinho, I still think he needs to prove himself more, like against Liverpool and in the final if they get there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I expected Barcelona to win, and they did. Um, now I just want to see what they could do against Liverpool, who are a much balanced team and are a much better team with more quality. So yeah, man. Okay. Um, forward thoughts on on the game. Could Coutinho and is De Gea a loser? Oh, De Gea is a, a massive loser. I mean, you got people out there like Neeks trying to keep up this propaganda that he's the best goalkeeper in the world. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows he isn't. In fact. Ter Stegen showed him levels of that save against from Sanchez in the last minute of the game, which is an amazing save, which again, so maybe De Gea probably wouldn't have done. And again, on his goals that he conceded, I mean, it was just it's shocking. And again, if you're the best goalkeeper in the world, as good as Coutinho's shot was, you'd probably save that as well. But again, that goes to show. Um, and on Coutinho, while I'm on the topic as well, um, yeah, it was a decent performance. It was a great goal. It doesn't negate what he's done throughout the season. But mm. again, this is his chance for him to... I mean, again, I'm not a hater. I mean, for me, I, I want to see players do well. And for him, I think this is a really big chance for him to really cement himself as a real Barcelona player. Again, Dembele's not really been in the best of form since coming back from his injury. That spot on the left wing is open for him and it kind of does suit his place of, of obviously Jordi Alba overlapping on the left. So it's a real chance for him to really cement himself. And if he used to deliver in the semi-final against Liverpool, because let's be real, United would never had a chance to be in Barcelona. If he no. delivers now, then that changes the narrative on him and people maybe can look at him and say, okay, you know what, you're not a flop, you're delivering when it matters. So, um, yeah, but as for the tie itself, I mean, again, I told everybody Barcelona were going to absolutely destroy United. I probably expected more, but 3 0 and the way the game went is all you can really expect if you're a Barcelona fan. So, all right. Yeah, let's um, see how they go for the seconds. All right, Hazem, thoughts on the game and could continue. Yeah, man. It was what I expected. I mean, I didn't really see United getting into it. Uh, some people were saying that. Just because it was only one nil, that maybe they had a chance, but <laughs> ah, but this the second leg of the camp, no, you, you don't have a chance, and uh, especially this United team. I mean, if you want to talk about Coutinho, I don't think he I don't think he deserves much credit for this because 
first of all, the game was done, so it's not really an unbelievable uh, achievement. But like he scored under pressure or a decider, the game was done, like it was finished. So it was just a, just like a goal for the show. And secondly, he's scoring against the team that lost four 0 to Everton. I mean, come on, damn! Like yeah, they have to bring it up, man. Okay, yeah, man. Like, come on, Dinier was scoring. Like, come on, like it was a good goal, okay. And he's showing signs of his um, that he still has got that foot, that uh, that shot. But I want I, I want to see him doing it more consistently, and uh, when it matters. So uh, yeah, man, uh, Barcelona uh, expected win Camp Nou, and uh, yes, I still see them as favorites. Okay, um, Juju man. Oh, the the hair the hair is not a top class goalkeeper. I knew that. Like I didn't want to sound as a hater, so I might say it right. Now. I'll say it right now. He he's he saves. Uh, he makes his save simple saves uh, dramatic. Like it's it's majority of his saves are uh, like uh, straight at him. So he's never. I never thought he was a good goalkeeper. I just thought he was like hyped so that they can sell newspapers. But uh, apart from his quality, it's not it's not that good. And for Messi or the goat, he sh he showed up. So that's. That's good. I know you. Man, you what, know, about, what about what about Coutinho? Coutinho is this Coutinho the goat as well? What about Coutinho? Uh, uh, and with Coutinho, I'll wait until the game against Liverpool. That's that's the real test because yes. he, he had a good shot, and I mean, Coutinho had a good shot. So <laughs> so that, that that was good. But for Messi, I mean, I mean, he showed up. I know United is an easy game, but at least he showed up. Like he didn't hide this time. So that that was good for. No, for but, come on, how can you call United an easy game? This is Manchester United on their, their history. How can you no, call that an easy game? I, I say, look, I, I said United. I, I offended people, but I'll, I'll still offend them. I tell them United are out of place. They're they're a nothing club. They're out, they're not supposed to be in this competition. They're not that good to be in this competition. I'm not even sure they're good for Europa League. And because this, no, 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 stop it, stop it. Don't say, come on, don't say, has a point. This is football yeah, heritage. And, and, and what's he called? The, the fact that you know what it makes me think about Mourinho. Mourinho called it, called his players out, and everyone. Like, because we we were going to a period where everyone blames the coach for anything that goes wrong, and every day that goes on, it seems like Mourinho. Wait, 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 from me, for like what I was expecting, come on, Barcelona to win this game. Of course, we was expecting Barcelona to somehow, you know, pass four, five goals, something like that. You know, kind of lubrication. This is a kind of lubrication. But what I see, yeah, look, Ashley Young, yeah, this guy, man, come on, he's trash. He's you, trash. No, no. How can you even try to attempt? How you have audacity to attempt your handcraft turn in your own box? <laughs> <laughs> Like <laughs> even 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 like the most skillful uh, like uh, left back of this generation, Marcelo. Yeah, even he won't have audacity to do that in the Champions League <laughs> quarterfinal in this game, this caliber game. Secondly, secondly, the hair man. Look, man. Uh, I told you the season. Like you know, at the start of the season, this guy is good, but he's not top three, top four for me this season. Because hype, he's completely hype, out. Hype, hype. Can call yeah. it. Can call it. But yeah, but. Uh, at, at, at his best this season, he might go for top five, but not top three, top four, man. And look what I see yeah, for the Coutinho, man. This, like the price tag which you have bought Coutinho, that goal will never justify it. Come on, man. You, you, no. you need, you 150 know. now. That goal yeah. does not justify one, 150 minutes. Doesn't hell matter. Man. This is what I see. Yeah. Even even if you score in the Champions League final now, you have to keep on scoring for a season after a season. Then it justifies your price tag. This is what I see. So, yeah, man. And. I just, I just want to tell you one thing, yeah. Man United started good the game really, you know, it's starting 10 minutes. Very well. They were First really time, United yeah. looked really good, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think so. Rashford should have, you know, at least hit on the target, man. Mm. So, look, even after, like, supposedly, like, on the hypothetical basis, yeah, if, even if Rashford would have scored that goal, even United losing that game. But what I was, you know, it would be, you know, better game to watch and, you know, a bit more excitement rather than winning 3 nils, simply 3 nils. So, yeah, man. So I was disappointed by the performance, the way United played. All right. Red. Yeah. Uh, my God. If you guys remember what I said last week, I said I said that United would go through. And I thought that they would give Barca a hard time. Um, and my the whole reason behind my prediction is because I thought Lukaku would be clinical in this game. And <laughs> I honestly... Lukaku? I play, like, yes, 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 yes. I rate, I rate, I rate Lukaku, HH. And um, <laughs> you I'll, rate I'll, him. I'll say, yes, yes, yes. HH, you saw what he did at the World Cup. That wasn't a fluke. That wasn't a fluke. He knocked down Brazil. And PSG. 
No, no, okay. Let's let's forget about forget. I'm talking. Let's talk. Let's say about that Barca United game. And Ole didn't play him. Instead, who'd he go for up front? He went for Rashford. Rashford can't finish. Rashford at best, like he, he should just stick to being a winger, not even an inverted inverted goal scoring winger. He just stick to be just what whipping crosses him because he can't finish for shit. He wasted so yeah. many chances, it was ridiculous. And obviously, Barca are favorites. Like when bro, like Messi had two chances, scored yeah. two, and then for the rest of the match they just like and within ten minutes, third three minutes they ended this tie. Three minutes, like uh, w Messi scored that brace in the first fifteen minutes. That was it. Tie over. It's done. Uh, but there's United aren't scoring four. Not at the camp now. There's nothing they could do. You could even see Pogba, like, he, like after he scored the second, he was just standing there looking at the players like, <laughs> it's done. Like, we have to now sit through and just not humiliate ourselves for the next 80 minutes. And, like, thankfully, Messi was very kind that day and he felt generous and didn't want to, like, send them, like, make them all lose their jobs. But Ole, absolutely like, horrible, horrible tactics by him. Like, why wouldn't you play Lukaku? Like, you're playing away from home. You're, he's your best striker. I don't know. And he didn't even make any substitutions till like after the 70th minute. Like, so you know there's no chance whatsoever. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, congratulations to Barca. They they did well deserved it. Great goal. And Coutinho, no, it's not justified that he did what he does. Like, that's that's the only thing Coutinho does is he has those incredible long shots, that finesse shot with on his right foot. But aside from that, he, he has nothing else to his game. He, like, uh, I like yeah. I, I much prefer to see Dembele in there because I think Dembele, if you give him the confidence and I think he can wreak havoc way more than Coutinho. But yeah, that, that's okay. my overall thoughts. All right, Sasquatch. Keep it brief, keep it brief, keep it brief. Keep it brief. Thoughts yeah, on the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was actually a total mismatch. I mean, Barcelona were literally, after they scored the two goals, they were literally playing around at the back. They were literally playing position baseball. So it was a mismatch, and it was actually quite expected, to be honest. I was actually expecting a 4 0 victory. But mm. whatever they did for the first five minutes, uh, I mean, it doesn't count because. They couldn't keep their momentum. They couldn't give, keep their head Actually, disagree with uh, Red. Actually, Solskjaer went with the right tactics. And that is the reason why they played good for the first five minutes. It's, it's down to the players. They just gave up after the first, uh, after the second goal, especially. After the second goal. And De Gea should not be mentioned in top three goalkeeper, like, at least for the next two or three years. I mean, this guy... Has three been years? Has for, like, what? No. no, no, this guy, here's the thing. This is, this is a guy who has been... Uh, to flopping for the what for la for the past one year, so it's it's just uh, it's it's inevitable that it's gonna continue. So uh, nobody, I no like uh, yeah, no can stop this uh, uh, bad form from him. So yeah, and as for Coutinho, I mean, let's be honest, he was going up against Trashley Young and Phil Jones. So it's not. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, that's not. So it's 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 going to be much much tougher in the semis, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be, uh, they are going, going to go up against, uh, I mean, Lovren, Van Dijk and Alexander Arnold. So it's going to be, uh, let's see what he does against his former team. Let's see. Okay. Um, um, Ali, is your mic working there, bro? Yeah, bro. Um, Barca United game. In my opinion, I'm a, I'm a United fan, so I might be kind of biased, but when I say this, but Barca did not play amazing and United did not play good. They will play shit. But the two goals, if you look at the two goals Messi scored, first of all, one was De Gea's mistake, and second one was Ashley on mistake. Easily stoppable, in my wait, opinion. Wait, 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 wait. How was the first goal De Gea's mistake? No, first, second goal was De Gea's mistake. Oh, so it's okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First goal was Ashley on mistake. Simple football, right? So, secondly, I think United played shit. Barca should have won. They were favorites before the game started, so... They should have won. And they won it scrappily, but they won, right? Even though the 3-0, they won a scrappy still. What do you call it? Coutinho fluke, fluke shot. That's all I'm saying. He ain't shit. <laughs> that, wow. That was a clean strike. That was a oh, clean oh, strike, by the way. Oh, no, okay, I'm so, saying the fluke. Wait, wait, wait. Ali, Ali, wait, wait. Chocho. So, are you saying that Barcelona didn't deserve to win the game? Or they what did are you saying? To win. They did deserve to win, but they didn't win in the manners of I was expecting from Barca to win against us. You get me? They didn't play good enough to be like, oh, they've been Liverpool. They're not favorites yeah, against Liverpool, in my opinion, right now. You know what I mean? Okay, so, no, no, no. But my response to that is that maybe they did just enough because they didn't yeah, want to completely embarrass they United. Did. So, yeah, oh, come on. Not even completely embarrassed. They played horrible. They did just enough to win, which yeah. is, was shit enough. 
Yeah, what word on the street is PSG played better than Barca. That's what United fans were yes, saying. That's what I had. I'm, I'm not even a lie. That's not even a lie. You watch for well, first goal. Listen, the three, four goals they scored. Long shot from Coutinho. Actually, a mistake. The hay mistake. And the third goal was an on goal from uh, Luke Shaw. Come on. Barcelona, mm. you expect them to score beautiful goals. Like left, right, and center. Messi no, took no, his chances when he got... Come on. Bro, no, 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 bro. Ali, you have to look at both of the legs. See, Barcelona under Valverde, they're about, they're about business. They're not about looking cool yes. and looking sexy. They're about business. And Valverde is like, yes. screw you people that wants me to do the whole Pepe Coco Diola thing. I'm trying to, to deliver this trouble. So they're doing just enough to win the game. And in my view, it was a mismatch. As in, yes, mismatch. it was a total mismatch. Like, like United are light years away from Barcelona. Barcelona. And I, think that, I agree completely. Yes, so, 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 but I, mean, but I just think that when you look at the texture of the game, for, for, forget the goals. As far as just um, the domination, what teams are doing, Barcelona completely controlled both legs. And I think that for Solskjaer, it's something that he needs to really go back to the drawing board and say, like, you know what? We have a lot to do in the summer to even close. You'll never be in level, but just to close the gap. No. In terms of quality. Three, four summers. It's going to take years. It's not, it's not close. <laughs> I'm gonna be oh, yeah. fucking honest. It's gonna take at least two, three years. Okay, all right. So, yeah. which which player is going to risk his career being? Chill, 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 You've seen the reactions on the YouTube channel and everything, you know. Um, I'll, 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 okay, okay, look, I'll, I'll confess. I used, I, I, I used Juju. I used reverse psychology. I'm, I'm sorry. I used to, because I just, I love Cristiano. He's one of my best friends. I think he's lovely. He's amazing. He's one of the, one of the best people I know in my life. If I ever see him, I'll say, you're an, you're, it's an honor to meet you. I have all the response for him in the world. I just couldn't live in a world in which Cristiano wins four champions in a, in a row. I don't know how kind of war psychology juju thing which is a move that i've known since i was about six seven, seven years old and you know it is what it is so i actually were superb they were amazing unfortunately we didn't have fg who was who was run, run away scared so that's un unfortunate it's formally known as lg now it's lg oh, oh lg so so so, so obviously yeah. lg is, is isn't is, isn't here because he's, he's run away scared which is unfortunate so yeah. your thoughts on it who do you so is this a case of Ajax being far better than Juventus or Juventus without Chiellini being trash at home? Let me start with Ali. And I can see yeah, you can say both, in my opinion. Right? No, 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 choose one. No, What's right. more of Ajax being just better than Juventus or Juventus struggling without Chiellini and being trash? And choose one. I'm gonna go for Chiellini, right. I do with uh, Kalini because he's the most, after Ronaldo, he's the most important player there. He's the leader. Benucci can't defend for shit. Yeah. Right? Mm. He's horrible defending. Cancelo, you can, you've seen where the goal they conceded, can't defend. Alexander, I don't even know what he's doing there, right? Because Kalini is the leader there, the team. He literally, if you watch the Atletico Madrid game, he was the man, go up, go up, everyone he was controlling. You have Ronaldo, you're going to get goals either way, but you have to defend at the same time. And they couldn't defend. One reason they lost, so I think Kalini. Okay, um, Barca was this Ajax being better or Juventus struggling without Giorgio? I think this was a case of Ajax being better. Mm. I always say this give credit to the prospect who literally made me cry. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't laugh, Lizzie. Let, 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 let. It means it means so much. Yes, it does. It does. It does. It means so much because for three, four, five flipping good years, I've had to watch the champions. I've had to watch people like FG always brag about, oh my goodness, Ronaldo is going to win his fourth with Juve. Oh my goodness, Ronaldo is this. Oh my goodness, Ronaldo is that. <laughs> it was a miracle from Jesus Christ. I keep saying this. <laughs> Without this miracle happen, without this miraculous sign, I can I can never believe Ajax beating Juve that day. I have to say from top to bottom, Onana 
you are a god to me. You are literally a god to me. Um, <laughs> delete. Guys, what is my llama? Let me know. No, look. Speak about delete. Speak about Van Van de Beek because I, I need those names to be spoke upon, man. The, the, oh yeah. D- delete. One of, one, one of the best defensive performances I've, I've ever seen from a 19 year old. Go. I'm, t- I'm telling you, I'm 19. L- listen, HH, I'm 19. And I see this kid literally putting Ronaldo on lockdown like nobody else. I, I've cool. never seen that in Champions League. And then um, Van der Beek, I want to say something about Van der Beek. Van der Beek, I love your hustle. I respect your hustle. I respect that goal. I respect that goal to knock out CR7 out of this UCL. I respect that. I love Ajax. I love what they're doing. Ten Hag, amazing manager. Yes, quality, quality. One of the best managers out right now. I'm telling you right now. So, yeah, man. Okay, all right. Um, Christ. Um, As a Juventus fan, it paid me to see this, but we were just not good enough. And I think... So who do you blame? So, so do you blame the loss of Giorgio, Allegri's poor tactics, lack of quality in mid mid midfield? Because how do you get to dominate it at at the crib? Um, it's a mix of everything you just said, man. To be honest, man, because the midfield isn't there, but also Allegri's tactics to just sit back after one goal lead is just horrible. And Chiellini, he's always going to be missed because without Chiellini, we look shambles, guys. Like if you watch Juventus weekend week out. Without Chiellini, we look in shambles, man. So that's pretty much it. Okay. Forward. Oof. Boy, I, I mean, first and foremost, I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't get an apology, but I mean, I guess we knew... The no, you ain't getting no your... apology, man. No, it's we, not. I mean, we, we kind of knew you were doing your reverse psychology, so I mean, I I'll let you slide on that one. But I get onto the game. I mean, I, I, boom. Like, this is what I was talking about. That second half was just beautiful to watch again. Shout your boy to here and obviously myself, the only ones you picked Ajax to go through. <laughs> That second half showed everything that you needed to know about football. Again, the better footballing sides always have a chance in it. Again, we said it for this entire time, Ajax are the better footballing side. And I think, again, a lot of credit has to go to Ten Hag for his tactics, how we changed it in the second half. Because, again, first half, it was a bit of an even game. But second, the way they stepped up a few more levels. Again, if they were more clinical side, they could have easily won the 4-5-1 or five, one in that second half alone. So it, it was an amazing performance. Um, and again, what I even loved most about it was the, how they responded after Ronaldo scored their goal. Again, mm-hmm. you kind of all see the script. Oh, you are going to go and now win comfortably and lock down the game. But the way that they responded immediately with Van der Beek's goal, and even just how they took the, took the game to them in the second half, I and mean, even when they went a goal up, we all saw ZH's goal, which was amazing. Yes, it was ruled out, but amazing goal. Some mm-hmm. of the counter attacks between him, Neres, Tadic, and De Jong was a was it, it was pivotal that he was actually fit for this game because I thought he bossed him in field again. It was just an amazing performance, and again they're a, they're a complete threat to anybody left in the competition. I've said it for a while now. Again, I had to be made a believer after what he did at uh, at the Bernabeu, but again once I saw that, I knew that they had a chance to beat this Juventus uh, because in that midfield, Matuidi, Can Pjanic, decent players, but. As a as a function, as a system, as a midfield, they're not the greatest. And again, we saw it on the thing is I have to say this to you, HH as well. You said that oh, we've not seen Juventus outplayed on their home turf before. Mm. What did we see last season in the same exact stage when Tottenham destroyed them after they had that, that really bad start? Ericsson and Mbele put on an absolute clinic. No, 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 not no, not to this degree. Ajax literally <laughs> made that their house. I've never seen the way that Ajax literally totally out it was a total out outclassing. For like the for about 70 80 minutes, I've never seen Juventus that's um mesmerized, you know, and that uh, and uh, I've never seen them colonized to that degree at their crib personally. And I, and I mean, I hear your point, they were turning this was technically this was definitely to another level in terms mm-hmm. of control and dominance. But the Tottenham game, we aren't creating many as many chances, they had what 65 percent position after the first 10 minutes, they they completely controlled the game as well. So, and then I midfield shown that they wasn't the most adept at winning the ball back, retaining the ball, and really pressing the team high up the pitch when they come to play at their stadium. And again, Ajax did it to the next level, and again, it was an amazing performance. And okay. like, I know we're going to talk about the semi final again in detail, yeah, a little bit shout, later out on, so shout out to Zia, shout out to Zia. And yeah, Ziyech. We, if we, if Chelsea are not banned, we need to get Ziyech. Amazing, amazing player. Okay, all right. Um, Hazem. Yeah, man. First of all, I want to say another year, another year the event is bottle it. These guys are freaking bottlers, and uh, the next Italian team to win the Champions League will be Milan. Okay. And uh, so oh, that we got that over with. So now, yeah, man. It was a bit of it was a bit of everything, obviously. But if I had to lean to uh, one thing. It would be um, 
Uh, obviously, it has to be that Ch Ch the Chiellini, uh, Chiellini is not being there because. Oh, okay, okay, so so if Chiellini was there, Ajax don't win in your view. I think somehow if Chiellini, because the thing is, after Ajax, uh, after Ronaldo scored, Allegri made a huge mistake by just uh, going by the typical Italian approach, just playing it safe and just going uh, defensive and 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 absorbing the attacks. I feel like if Chiellini was there, that could have just just worked. Mm. Because he would have been the guy who just been able to hold it by the, even by centimeters, but always being there at the right time, always being there ready. And uh, I feel like he would have made a huge difference by marshalling the defense by itself. Because I'm sorry, but having uh, Rugani Bonucci as their center back pairing and absorbing all those attacks by Axe, awful, awful. never going to end end well. And Rugani is horrible. I don't know how that guy's starting for events is not even playing. For, and they renewed his contract recently. I don't know why, but this guy, yeah. this guy's yeah. horrible. And uh, obviously, Banucci declined. So obviously, the main thing was Kelini not being there. But you have to look at Allegri and the way he he completely bottled this game. How can you freaking go defensive after scoring so early, like? It doesn't make sense, especially against a team like Ajax, who you know they're just gonna put so much pressure on you and attack with numbers. You can't do that. You have you have to at least try to control the game and create more chance and close the game off with two now, not just do that. So uh, that was a horrible, horrible play by Allegri and this guy. I don't know. I think he he he's gonna leave uh, Juventus because he can't keep on bottling it when it matters in the Champions League. Okay. Um, um, yeah, that's that's the main blame I think. But Ajax, uh, just one more thing on Ajax. The, yeah, they deserve huge credit as well. Uh, as I said, it's a combination of everything. But Ajax need huge credit. And Van der Beek, my goodness, this guy is great. I don't, he, 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 for me, he's better than De Jong. He, he, he's yeah. not getting enough credit because this yeah. guy is both the engine and creative force. And movement, everything. This guy's and, and also yeah, he adds to the attack as well. So exactly. So yeah, Van der Beek and I heard Milan are interested in him. So yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. So this guy's yeah, great. Right. Easy, yeah, relax, man. Let's let's, let's back, go. Back, back can't, can't can't a guy dream? Can't a guy dream? Did you love this game? For 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 any Juventus fan, like switch teams. This team is not going anywhere. Like. <laughs> I was uh, first of all the 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 one goal from Van der Beek. I mean the Shilio, like he 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 was caught like he's not tracking back. He that was lazy from the Shilio. And then the other thing is Chesney, like the one save from Ziak Chesney. That was amazing. She, if it wasn't for Chesney, this 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 game could have ended. Oh, yeah. uh, well, he could have been it could have been worse for Juventus. And the other thing is, That's I think cool. with with Allegri, because a lot of people criticize Allegri, but I think Allegri knows this team is not good enough. That's why he approached it pragmatically because he knows this team is because the, the last time they played open against Atleti like you it ended bad it, it ended bad and and the the other thing is I'm shocked how Juventus they're not creating anything Dybala I'm not sure it, it looks like a flop because yeah, I mean flop, uh, flop, flop. Two, 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 they had, I think they had two shots and targets in both legs <laughs> Juventus that is that is really bad and and for what's he called and for Ajax, I, I like. I agree. Like, what's it called? All the hype has been going to De, De Jong, but what's it called? Van der Beek. Someone should look out. Should should buy that that player because I think he's he's good. He's really good. And and for Juventus, as for the last point about Juventus is oh, no, 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 deserve... no 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 no. I have a bone to pick with you. Thank you. I almost forgot. <laughs> if some hang out to go, weren't you the one that said defenders are not that important? <laughs> Attackers are more important. Oh, Defenders do not make that much of a of a difference. Now, Jojo Man, in twenty nineteen, yeah. are you going to tell me that Jojo Chiellini not being in the defense did not make a huge difference in this time? I, I don't think it made. Like you, like oh, serious, God. like no, no, seriously, yeah. like. In the 60th oh. minute, like I saw Juventus and these players were so tired. I don't know, like they this kid they, they didn't even play in the weekend and it, it looked like they they ran a marathon before the game. I was like, why are these players so tired? They cannot do anything. Like they just they, 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 the whole like team it. just looked so tired. Like they could barely run, they could do anything. And even it was so bad to the point that the fans, the Ajax fans were were chanting all they were chanting the all A every every pass. And I was like, this is this is this is embarrassing, and and uh, as for uh, double H, uh, what's it called? Killing is important, but I think this team is just is so bad, and I'm not sure the direction the club is heading. I mean, Ramsey is coming in the next season. That's another player Arsenal don't want. He's an Arsenal reject, and he's 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 will be the highest. So he'll he'll be the highest 
paid player in that Juventus team. I don't know where the direction is going. I, clearly, I don't know if they're going to win the Champions League with that, with that, with, with that, uh, with the way they're going. Okay, All right, um, Muzaha. Uh, yeah, hatred. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, you know, the, I have to give the props to the team, this Ajax, because even I just suspected them in a sense, you know. Mm, oh, they have a too. bunch of bunch of prospects. Okay, so in a sense, like how far they will go? Okay, they defeated Madrid. Now, maximum, you know, they are going against uh, uh, like Juventus are limiting this, this these guys here, yeah? but so like they proved me wrong again. So uh, like especially you know the coach Ten Hag, yeah? mm. give them props and everything. But uh, hatred, you have to look for, uh, look for uh, this thing. Yeah, from the third angle, man. And this is what I see, yeah, to be honest. First leg, Ajax against Madrid, they lost 2 1. There was Ramos on the pitch, and they were good. Like, to be honest, they were they played uh, like they outplayed us in the first leg as well, but they wasn't that good when it comes, when it comes to second leg. Second mm. leg, they were more aggressive, more direct, you know, hungry, and there was no Ramos, and that was a big difference. Same thing goes for the second leg against Juventus. There was a killing me. So, like, these guys are y- using their situation to the fullest. Mm. If, like, like, Ten Hag, man, like, apart from the tactics, he, like, something is working in their favor as well. Yeah. Look, man, if you see the man. first goal, yeah, first goal the way when the big scored. Come on, that's fortunate, to be honest. Like, okay, no, no, yeah, or, 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 you could just say it's a very good reaction from Van der Beek because he was, he was the first to react. So that ball can agree. No one else reacted as as quickly as hatred. 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 Look, first of all, look, what, what, I, what I say that like okay, like you reacted well in that case, yeah. But it's not a open like goal from open play innocence. You know, you, you got me innocence. Like that's that's not a, a like you the way you scored the uh, you know goals against Real Madrid in second leg. Like, that wasn't mm. kind of that kind of goal. Like it's like uh, sketchy. You know, innocence. Okay. Like, okay. Fortunate. Yeah. Fortunate. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fortunate. But and if you see these guys, you know uh, what he got substitutions. I guess uh, some midfielder can't remember. Yeah, I guess he was injured from the Ajax team. He replaced with the right guy. When the big, he was so mobile. He knows that you went this weakling in, in between the lines. And this guy was playing. Whoa, whoa! All the time they are coming up with the threats. So yeah. what I say is that, like, for this, especially for second leg, you have to game uh, give blame to the Allegri. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, why you didn't start. Uh, started this guy, Juan Cancelo. You know that he's not good defensively, but you know that the way Ajax is going to give them space. Mm. Because, and, oh my God, this is like, I can't remember after how long, yeah, when Cristiano Ronaldo, when this guy scored the first goal, opening goal for a team, I haven't seen his, his team losing, you know, from in the Champions League especially. The way this Ajax guys came, wow, you have to give them... Okay, so, so, so you're putting... All the blame on Allegri, but not on pathetic defensive performances. So also, Allegri gets all the blame. Is that what you're trying, trying to tell me? For me, this is what I see. Allegri has to take blame for the leg two. I know, I know, he doesn't have that much technical quality players, but why he started Chan over Bentancur? Look, Bentancur is also defensive. Yeah. Player. I'm not denying that, mm. but he's like a bit more technical, and his decision making is better than Chan. Even you know that. Okay, yes. and why he started the Shilio? Look, man, you know that this Ajax team is—they need goals at some stage, and even after scoring first goal, wow! Like, come on, man! Like, this is Allegri's, you know, blunder, man. You have to give, you know, you have to blame Allegri. Okay, all right, second, okay. Like. Uh, red. Uh, first off, I want to say what's well, not one thing you from you. Uh, after three years, four years, your juju finally worked, but it kicked in. It kicked. Thank in. you. Thank you. <laughs> Perseverance is the key to life. Carry on. Of course, of course. And uh, I'm going to be sound a little biased here as an Ajax fan, um, personally. Uh, Ajax just dominated <laughs> UV. There's nothing Ajax <laughs> could do. Like, there's nothing UV could do, sorry. There's, there was nothing. I don't care if Cellini, Cellini was on the uh, pitch, Mandzukic, whoever. They, 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 that was liquid football. They, no, no, no. They, no, 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 no let's be real. If, if, if Mandzukic and Cellini was there, it's a different kind of game. I, Maybe I, I extra agree. win, but it's a different kind of game. See, I agree, HH, but I agree from a tactical point of view because I remember in the first, like, Allegri said something in the post-match where he was like, we couldn't stop De Jong because De Jong kept on dropping deep in between the center backs because he assigned a midfield to do that. But that's why Allegri showed his flaws there because from watching Zaydan, Zaydan would always assign Benzema to mark out the ball playing DM. You could see that in the, uh, against when we played against PSG or when we played against Juve. Benzema was always on Pjanic and Verratti. He would always be... Mm-hmm. 
pressing them. That way, if the if the midfielder were to drop in between the center backs, your your uh, striker at that point will be pressing the uh, pre he'll be pressing the back line. And at the same time, if the uh, midfielder goes to the midfield, he'll be playing as sort of a false nine role and allow the wingers to push forward. So I felt like they did really miss a presence in, in the striker uh, during that match uh, because Dybala is essentially useless defensively. He's only good going forward. He's not going to be brick. Classy brick. Yeah, yeah he, he can't press. He won't pre because you need to press from the front. For if a team is, uh, they're playing from the back. You have to press from the front to, to put pressure on those because they were allowing Ajax to just play all their like Ajax were just so comfortable in that game. They, they Juve couldn't touch them. They couldn't like and by the by the seventieth minute, the players were like dropping like flies. And another thing, I don't know what they're doing in the Juve training uh, training ground because their players are dropping like flies. Like how is Mandzukic, Cuadrado, uh, Douglas Costa? Oh, yeah. How are these players all in? Injured. How that none of them are available? Like mm. Kalini, like, yeah. like, like, like you guys already secured the league. Like, what are you guys doing in the training pitch that got that's getting these players injured uh, like so much? But overall, fair play to Ajax. We did it. We were able to pull it off, and hopefully, we're gonna go the whole way. For the people that are talking about the bet, HH on my Twitter page, I'm wearing an Ajax jersey. <laughs> It's, it's, it's done, it's done deal. My trap is ready. You, 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 you basically do your man 2.0 pretty much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 they would have actually won this game because if Kielini was there, especially after the uh, first goal, then Kielini would have said to those players, you guys go forward. It's uh, I can handle this defense on my own. Me and Bonucci, we can handle this on my own. You fullbacks go forward and put in as many crosses as you can. But because after uh, they were rattled, because there was no leader in the defense, they literally their only option was to drop back. And that allowed Ajax to play their silky football. Because no offense, uh, no nothing to take away from Ajax. They actually are very good football inside and uh, they have a lot of talent. But it was down to uh, Juventus dropping back. They uh, and that allowed uh, Ajax to go forward more lethal. Yo, 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 I think you need to um walk your mind because I think you you keep on breaking up. You keep on breaking up. You keep on breaking up. So I think you need to uh, okay. micro your connection because I think people can't. I think you're sounding broken up to some people. I think so. Can you hear me now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go, go. Yeah, so basically, I was trying to say is it's uh, uh, IX just going for literally going forward, and then it was literally handling the defense on his own. And Juventus do not have that kind of a player in their defense, like Dilit. Okay, 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 all right. Um, before we go to the main main event, let's just let me just this, this, this is a little quick thing just for everyone's thoughts. So Liverpool totally destroyed and dismembered FC Porto. Did Liverpool put as a statement that they should be seen as the clear favorites for the for the Champions League? Ali. Yeah, I agree. Liverpool are the clear favorites and they they they've they've done it every game. They wanna be okay, they lost to that team in the group stage, but they've bet Napoli, they've got PG, they've they've done it and they've shown it. And they're doing it in the league as well. Both sides competing everywhere. So unlike, you know, Man City and they're they're the main team right now in the Premier League. In my okay. opinion. So, right. Yeah. They're the favourites for the Champions League. Barca. Hello. Yeah, I never put the clear favourites after what they did to FC Porto. Are they the clear favourites for the Champions League? I would say Choose your words care so. carefully. Choose your words carefully. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um I I think I think they are I think they're favorites right now because they have <laughs> every, like, said, all their players can hey, let me let me let me let me let me because all their players can score goals. That is why I think they are clear favorites. Like Henderson can score, Wijnaldum can score, Van Dijk can score. Um, but I still because I know people like Montaha, you know people like Red maybe. You know, I know they Liverpool is playing a bit like Real Madrid of last season, and I know a lot of 
English Better. fans think that Liverpool is like Real Madrid, but I just have this small thing. I, I don't know why the, these guys don't look at stuff like this. Um, obviously, right today against Cardiff, when Liverpool play Cardiff, um, there was a corner kick that Cardiff had where the guy literally whipped in the cross, and if the guy's head literally in, got implanted into that ball, that ball was going inside the net. You know, because it was a really good header. He just headed it really badly. And I just feel like I see some weakness, especially that first 10 minutes of that Porto game. There were some weaknesses with that Liverpool team that, you know, even me as a Barcelona fan going to that game, I'm like, my God, if we can exploit those weaknesses, I think we really have. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So in shots, you don't see them. You see them as favorites, but not the clear favorites. No, I see, I, I see them as favorites. But okay. they have weaknesses. All right, That's okay. All right, yeah. Christ. I little put the clear favorites. Um, um, this is really hard to say, but I think Barcelona are man. Um, the reason I say Barcelona is because double H, in the league, Liverpool have to play all their starters, um, to try to win the league because they're trying to mm. win the league. But well, whereas Barcelona could rotate players for the Champions League because they have a ten point lead. I mean, a seven point lead, um, on the table. So. Um, yeah, I believe that Barcelona are the favorites, and also because of Messi, like he's on a mission, and I, I don't think Liverpool can stop him because he's gonna be on his game. So that's like the main reason, man. Okay. But Liverpool could easily, yeah, they could win it as well. All right, four. <clears throat> are Liverpool the clear favorites? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've been saying it for a while. People are starting to catch on now, but yeah, they're definitely the favourites. Um, especially with Salah coming into top form now. Obviously, their fullbacks have been producing so many assists and creating a lot of opportunities from the width that I think teams have not really been able to really catch a really a good idea on how to really stop them. Um, creating obviously chances from the wide areas. So yeah, Liverpool are, are a tough, time, tough, tough team for anybody left in the competition competition to be and especially for Barcelona I think they're just a horrible matchup for them so yeah definitely a little favourites right now in the tournament has them a little for favourites has them oh, so first of all I want to say uh, Salah showed up again and uh, I, I, the haters continue to be silent an assist and a goal and a, a great performance mm -hmm. uh, as for uh, whether they're favourites um, cool. I still, I'm still sticking to Barcelona. I'm still sticking to Barcelona for the for the the reasons I said last hangout, which was that um, obviously uh, Messi is on a mission, which Christ said, and obviously the league is over. And you know Barcelona are really going for this, and I think it's gonna be tough that the first leg is in um, is in uh, is in Camp Nou. Not mm. Changes things. Changes mm. things a bit. But I think if Barcelona managed to close it off in the first leg... No, 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 no but, 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 but focus mainly on just the favorite. Yeah, we're we're, we're going to get to that afterwards. Yeah, I, I, I still think... Um, Barcelona, Barcelona, the favorite. Barcelona are favorites, yeah. All right, Juju Man. Cool. Are Liverpool the clear favorites? Yeah, as, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Liverpool have the Champions League on lock. And, wow! What? Yeah, what? And what? <laughs> they, they have it on lock and what's it called for Liverpool fans I just want them to put a comment of, of where they'll celebrate their Champions League title and and because yeah. this they, they, like they they, they 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 face I mean for a team that I, I know Barcelona will be a tough they, they'll be a tough game because they Barcelona have faced difficult teams apart from United and United but Liverpool have the edge because they have the, the front three I think is the best in 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 Europe or the world because they have I mean they have with the with with the icon Salah, with the Sadio and and LGBT Fermino. They they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, they do. Tranny. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. They they doing they doing they doing they doing well. Cause and and what's it called? And I think they just it, it just feels like I I cannot see Liverpool going trophyless this season. They they I, I know they'll get two trophies, but it's like. All this work, there's no way they're going trophy trophy there. So I'm uh, I'm expecting them to beat to beat to beat Barcelona. Okay. And All right. Also, though, just to say that um, I do not condone those words that Juju Man said about Femino and LGBT. Yeah. So I don't condone them. <laughs> oh, okay, Juju Man, shop, 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 shop. Um, Muntaha, and I never pulled it. The clear favorites. Uh. Hey, just, man, come on. This is not that easy to say that Liverpool is clearly favourite. Why not? They, 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 no, 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 no. they look top relax, relax, attacking. Relax, relax. <laughs> I'll tell you why. I, I'll tell you why. 
because do, do you trust that Brexit uh, midfield? Yes. Do you trust yep. that really? Especially I do. At camp now. Oh, Are you mad, bro? Oh, what are you saying, bro? This this midfield at camp now, such a wide uh, pitch. No way, man. Like against Usman. Okay, so who do you have as if you have another, who are all the clear favorites then? Who would you say the clear favorites? Oh, man, Barcelona for sure. What by the way, guys, Mes- we're using reverse psychology. By the way, oh, okay. Wow, wow. Hazem is coming up with something else, bro. I don't understand from where this, where he yeah. got this stuff. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah. We're, what's my point is this this guy? Yeah, Messi has been so clutch this season, man. You, wow, this guy's been like, come on, man, this guy's showing up and his legacy is online now. Yes, he is, it is, it is, it's online, it's online. Yeah, it's, it's, online. it's not about just Champions League, it's his legacy. If yeah. Messi won't yeah. win, because, because he knows that uh, the tagline he has on his, uh, like, you know, at his back is like, he, he, has, Chavi, he has to deliver. Lesa, Messi has Chavi. to deliver that, that Champions yeah. League. Anything, yeah. anything short of a win, it will be a failure and his legacy will take a hit. He, he needs to deliver the Champions League, he has to. Yeah, yes, man. So this is what I see, bro. So I think so. Barcelona's favorite for me. Okay, red. I never put clear favorites. No, no, they're not. H-H. Like we we can't we can't say that. Like I, look, Liverpool are a solid team, and they're definitely the second favorites behind Barca. Like it's either one whoever's gonna win from that tie is gonna win the whole thing. But no, this is this is this, this is Barca's to lose. This is Bar- no, no, no. I respect Ajax. I respect Ajax. I just feel like uh, Liverpool and Barca are more complete teams than Juve, U- Bar- Madrid. And All those have flaws. The final is anybody's game, man. Respect the the. It's true. It's true. It's, it's, it's true. It's But like, I'm not. Look, I'm not betting against Messi, man. Like, look, me neither. Look, Mane, 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 and Salah are amazing. They both scored amazing goals. Messi has as much goals as them both almost uh, combined yeah. in the league. Like what he's doing, and you saw with United. United played a solid a hundred. And seventy minutes, but Messi in ten minutes ended that tie. In ten minutes, as soon as they made one mistake and he was in front of goal, that's it. Like he's scoring, he, and, and you have to rely now to because I've, this whole season Barcelona within fifteen minutes with the, whether it's like you saw against Lyon, 10, 15 minutes they score like three four goals, game done. But United ten minutes. Two goals, game done. Uh, even in La Liga, it's always like that. Within five minutes, ten minutes, they'll blitz. And the game is over, and so that's why I favor United uh, Barca. But with that being said, Liverpool are not slouches. Liverpool are a solid team. They're a complete team. They have a good defense, midfield, and uh, attack. I disagree with Montaja. That Brexit midfield is actually good against Barcelona. Very effective. Very effective midfield. Very effective. Yeah. Because you saw what they did to Thiago, which is a very Barcelona-esque player. Because they're not going to give Busquets, Arthur, and Rakitic time on the ball. They're going to constantly be pressing them. And guess what? If they, if it was a cop wants to sub in, okay, let's take out Milner and Hendo. Okay, here let's put in some uh, Keita with uh, Fabinho. Like you have uh, mm. Gini Wijnaldum. Like they, they have depth in that midfield where they can last for two legs. And the fact red, that red, play- is, no, no, red, one red, second, one second, second, second finish my. Wait, 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 red, 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 red. And also with uh, another as- another asset to Liverpool is the fact that they're pl- they're constantly sharp. They're competing for a title. That's not a negative. That's a positive that they're constantly on. They're informed. They keep going. They don't like one leg. They're gonna like oh we uh, we can rest them for the league or no no no. This is better for the players. They're gonna be sharp all season long. Like uh, they won't like turn off. You can't because you can't turn it on when you turn it off. Mm. You okay. Gotta keep it going. So yeah, I, I Barca are favorites. Like I think they they're like seventy percent favorites, but Liverpool have a good chance. Okay, um, Saswat. Yeah, I mean for this tie, particular tie, Barcelona favorites, and actually it's a kind of change of pace to see so many teams, you know, so many you guys. I mean, uh, favoring Liverpool. So yeah, this tie, Liverpool is the favorites, but I don't think we're gonna win the Champions League. I think Ajax is gonna win the Champions League. What? So Ajax. Are- yeah, so, uh, yeah, because. Uh, wait, 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 did you see that in like a a dream or something or what? What do you mean? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, because uh, I just don't trust my team in a final. Believe me, I just don't trust my team. Every yeah. time I trust, have my hope, team man. Have I hope. Know. Have hope. Istanbul. I, I, I just can't. I just can't. I, yeah, Istanbul. Yeah, I know. I know. But that was a long time ago. So yeah. So basically, so I'm just using. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. I mean, I just don't trust my team in a final. But based on this step. I mean, Klopp literally has told in his press conference, uh, in uh, kind of like a secret way, that he ha- has the two the two methods to deal with Messi. Either when he wait, 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 we'll, trust, uh, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. Let's no, no, show me we'll get there now. <laughs> Look, you know what? I'm going to cut this up in soon. First of all, 
in my view, quality wise, the best football match I've seen is Germany, Italy, World Cup 2006. That is the best football match I've ever seen. This match has, you cannot tell me that there are six, seven, or eight games that were more exciting than this game for pure, raw, and adulterated excitement. This has to be one of the most eventful, exciting, craziest football matches that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, who? I... Okay, basically, let me start with this because we're, we're going to break this down in like three. Look, there's going to be a bloody long hangout. Okay, look, let's just break it down like this. Three hours. Who do you put the blame to for the Man City loss? Let's look at Man City first. Who is to blame for the Man City loss? Do you blame Pep? Do you blame Aguero? Remember, we're looking at both legs, the whole thing, the whole pie. Do you blame Pep? Do you blame Aguero for missing the penalty? Do you blame Laporte for his two mis mistakes? Who is this? If it's to pick one person to blame for Man City, blame Aguero, do you blame Laporte, do you blame Pep, or do you blame the entire team? Or is nobody to, to blame? Ali? And in my opinion, and they're all kind of a bit to blame, but pick so mostly, mostly, I would play in Pep Guardiola, right? Because, I'll tell you why. Because, first leg, first of all, he benched De Bruyne and he benched Sané, mm. yes? Se which they could have won. Second leg, he didn't bench anyone, but like, the way he started, like, what do you call it? I didn't, he didn't have the guts, in my opinion. But, I didn't but, have the guts. Ali, did, did Pep beg Aguero to miss a penalty, though? But, yeah, but you're right. Aguero didn't miss a penalty, but so many, so many people miss penalties and the game is not over. They lost a die in their home against Spurs. Yeah. Laporte made two mistakes. I completely blame as well. But that game was exciting because of lack of defense both sides, in my opinion. Premier League defending. Right? This, that was not even horrific. That was just disastrous defending. And Guardiola did not have the guts to bench, what do you call it, and play for Nandini, first of all. And secondly, he should have benched Silva. David Silva, mostly. He was horrendous. If he played, what do you call it, and Sane... Stalling, Aguero, and played Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, and Fernandinho, they would have wrapped that game up early. Yeah. But but he didn't have the guts, you know what I mean? So I blame him. He's not, okay. Listen, um, he's been he's he spent so much money. He needs to win the Champions League. It's no excuse no more. He has spend, no excuse. You spent way too much money, Pep. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll get to Pep, don't worry. Barca, um, who do you blame mostly for this city exit? I blame the English media for City. <laughs> I knew you should say something like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason, okay? There's a reason. I can't wait to hear this. Um, this is why I'm saying this. Back in... Because for me, when I... Basically, when I researched the English Premier League, the teams that were known were Liverpool, Arsenal, United, Nottingham Forest... Those those teams were there. And there was no city. City was nowhere when oh. Nottingham Forest was winning two zeros. Barca, Barca, great match to talk about. You're talking about this. Come on, man, Don't, get to the but, point. But, but, okay, okay, all right. Let me get to the point. Look, 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 Barca, stay on points, man. Stay on the points, bro. Come on, bro. Okay, my point is, Pep is not a great manager. Um, <sighs> Who is to blame? What? Who is to blame? Just name me one. Who, who is to blame? It's very simple. Just who is to blame? Just name me one person to blame for for City. Gets Pep Guardiola. Of Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola is to blame for City. He is so restricted to one style that he's not experimental. He needs to find a way to be experimental. That is why I rate Luis Enrique over Pep Guardiola. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Don't go there, bro. Don't go there. And you think Barcelona is the dumb. Okay, Barca, you better come with a proper explanation as to why you came up with Luis Enrique over Pep Guardiola. Okay, all right. I know, I know, I know. A lot of people say that, oh, um, Enrique had like a really good back three, and that's what made him a successful coach <laughs> in Barcelona. I know, I know, that's what a lot of people say. But listen, it's not just because of that. It's not just because of that that Barcelona won the Champions League. It is his man management. It is literally 
um him being experimental. Sometimes he would go with a four three three. Sometimes no, 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 Barca. We're nah, saying nah, experimental. Barca. Luis Charles Enrique would have won with that front. So, so basically, to Barca, just so in in short, Pep is to blame because again, I'm not doing for Luis Enrique. That's just ludicrous. That's just madness. Barca, thank you. Christ, who's to blame for City getting non up top? One, um, one, one honestly, uh, Pep Guardiola, man, and the reason Damn. for this is because the first leg, like. How do you bench your most creative midfielder? How do you bench um your most explosive winger besides Sterling? Like, and the thing is, his substitutions were so late. Double H, I understand that he was saving them from the Premier League because they were playing Palace that weekend where he rested them. But he could have at least played them for thirty minutes and half an hour. It was the 80th minute, and this guy barely brought him in. Like he should have brought him in earlier if if he wasn't gonna start them. Um. I give like half the blame to Aguero, um, because I thought he could have done more throughout the two legs, but I give most of the blame to Pep Guardiola. Okay, four. And by the way, HH, yeah. uh, Mourinho over Pep Guardiola. Yes, yes, yes. Three, yeah. <laughs> four. All right, so Pep Guardiola has definitely opened himself up to a lot of criticism, just based of how he's performed with Man City in the Champions League. But based off of these two legs, in my opinion. He's exempt to any criticism for what he did on these two legs. Excuse me? Exempt. Yes. Why? Reason why is because he set up Man City perfectly in that first leg in terms of minimizing space for Tottenham to counter. You saw how they had very little chances on the counter attack. Yes, Son scored that one goal from Dell's mistake, but again, that can happen. Um, obviously, Aguero missed that huge penalty. And then when he turned it on in the last few minutes, again, Man City created a lot of chances and could have scored in the last few minutes. Wait, wait, no. Let me land. Let me land. Let those guys on for, for three minutes, four minutes. I'm talking about the first leg. I'm talking about the first leg. Now, I know. The in, you know in, in the first leg, he gave De Bruyne and Sunny like about five minutes to, to like, change even, the but game. Even then, but even then, you saw how he controlled the game. You got to remember how he did in the fir- in the first legs of other games previously when he conceded a lot of goals against Monaco in the first leg. When against Liverpool, he got blitzed out. If you look at it comparatively to that, they kept, they kept a pretty decent scoreline and it was a good performance away at Tottenham, which is a tough place to go to, especially their new stadium. So I thought it was a decent performance. One, no, going back to the Etihad, okay, you can see how it goes. And again, when you look at how he performed, how his team performed, his tactics, how he set up, they completely neutralised Spurs defensively. They, they dominated them. Kevin De Bruyne performed the 10 out of 10 performance. It was absolutely masterclass. Sterling scored a hat-trick. Again, we'll go on to that third goal later on, but mm. it was an amazing performance from him. And in terms of what he could do for Man City offensively, I thought he did very well. Defensively, there was a few question marks, but again, Tottenham are a great team to a degree going forward and obviously with the likes of Son and Mora and again when you look at how they de- de- how they were defensively on those goals complete lapses lapses in our concentration from Laporte on both of those first two goals and even the second the third goal from Laurenti's uh, the, the set piece again just poor defending on a set piece with poor marking from um, for Laporte Kawaka missed his head out of the front post so again how can you blame Guardiola for all of that I don't think you can then he even made the substitution of bringing on Sane for Mendy, which was a bozy substitution to make. And they scored that last minute goal. Yes, it was ruled off by VAR. But again, you look at Pep Guardiola. He set up his team great. His team didn't take the chances, but you can't now say, oh, he's a fraud because of this one game in isolation. No. Maybe if you want to look at it in whole, or maybe say that, oh, because Man City have not done that great in the Champions League, maybe you can look at Pep and say, oh, because you've got no Messi, maybe you can't do that. Blah, 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 blah. We can have a conversation later on. But in terms of this game, in isolation, you can't blame Pep Guardiola. Wait, Absolutely. Before it, before it. Before it. Wait, 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 wait. Chill, 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 chill. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll get time to respond. Hazem, who's to, who, 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 who's to blame? Or is, 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 is Ford smoking crack? Hazem, who's to blame? I mean, no, it has to be Guardiola. I mean, there's several, there's several reasons for this. There's obviously the first is uh, De Bruyne. I don't know how you can start De Bruyne in such a such an important game in the Champions League. We easier saw how easy, so, easy, easy, easy. We saw how well he did and uh, the chance he created against Tottenham. And uh, secondly, second leg, you're holding a lead. How do you not start Fernandinho? You know that Tottenham are going to come out and attack. You know that. The Son, Ali are all going to cause some problems. And Fernandinho is the guy that can really limit them and help, help out the defense and really be the guy that can interrupt the uh, Tottenham's attacks. Without Fernandinho, you had Gondogan, who was more attacking than defending. And there was so much space for Tottenham to exploit. It was crazy. And obviously, right, Laporte deserves some of the, 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 the um, blame. Some? But... some? Sorry. sorry. Yeah. I'm going to mute my mic. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to mute. Yeah. He, he deserves some of the blame. But Without Fernandino in front of him, this this is this is a protection he's been having that he suddenly removed it from him, 
and now the, the, the defense just looked clueless without, without Fernandina in front of them. So especially with such a Tottenham team coming at them. So that was a huge blunder by, um, by um, Guardiola. And um, yeah, man, he cost them the game. Obviously, aside from Guardiola, there's also the Aguero factor. Because if, if Aguero scored that penalty in the um, first leg, that's, that's a huge away goal. That's a huge away goal. And we saw in this match that the fact that City didn't have an away goal was always weighing in on them mentally. Because each time Tottenham scored, it was like a huge mental blow to City. Because knowing that they don't have the away goal, they know that this is huge for Tottenham. Each away goal is like two goals. So yeah, man, the, the, the main blame goes to Guardiola. And, um, but there has to be some, um, some criticism put on uh, Aguero for balling in the most important moment. So okay, so 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 the main person you're blaming is Pep. Yeah, man, it has to be. It's obvious. So I believe Man City are your current team or your previous team. Yeah, it's the current. Like this, this, oh, this was painful. Okay. <laughs> okay. So who is the main person to blame for your current team? Which uh, one which one's be your current team anymore? I, I blame I blame Pep Guardiola. He's oh. the reason. He he's a coward. The man is a coward. First of all. First of all, the fact that he, he had the audacity to to bench De Bruyne and and Sane in the first leg was a it was a disaster. Considering how good De Bruyne was good in this second leg, I mean he should have started him in the first leg. That should have been an easy win, not easy, but it should have been a win or at least a draw. And the other thing is, Mares is a flop. I don't know why he doesn't trust Mares that much. And why is David Silva still starting? I was shocked to see David Silva. In, the, in that in that second leg starting, and I was like, this guy, he, he was a disaster in the first leg. He played really bad in the first leg, and he still starts again. And and with what's his name? And with Laporte, I don't know if he left his brains at home. He's not composed. He gave away two free goals. He gave away two free goals. This this game should have ended four one. Laporte just gave away. He gave away. I mean, he gave away two free goals. I don't know what he's doing. And for Pep, the other thing is, company is the best midfielder. I understand he prefers. Defenders that that can can pass the ball, but company like the only person that was giving me like confidence in that I mean, def I mean def defense is company. Laporte, I don't know what this this man. I, I now see why they don't pick him for the French national team. He's not composed. I don't know why he's too emotional for some reason. He's carried away by the moment. And and with and with and with Mendy, I mean Mendy doesn't. He, he used to have the best crosses in the world. Right now, he can't even run. I don't know what's going on with Mendy. He probably needs to, to be off, off social media for a while because he needs to improve his game. And and for, for Man City in, in general, I mean, Pep, I, I, I just dare Pep to lose this. I dare him to lose the Premier League. All this will look so dumb that he, he benched all these players. He will look so stupid for benching all these players. So he, 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 he chose which title to, to go for. Hopefully he wins it because he will look so stupid. He, he'll be he'll be a big failure. Well, I mean, but before I go to Montaha, which is a point that Fordos was making, what he did in the first leg was, and this and what he gets a paper, what you he did he made, he made a choice, and his cho and the choice was either you prioritize the Champions League or you try and go for the quadruple. That setup he put wasn't to try and stifle Tottenham. That setup was I'm trying to go for the quadruple because I'm trying to rest these guys for a very tricky game away to Palace on the weekend. So I have to do this rotation and pick my guys carefully, rest guys, because we really are trying to win all four trophies. Whereas in my view, homeboy, win the flipping chance. That's yeah, your well, priority. Well, and, 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 and that's a horrible move because even, even Carlo Ancelotti said it, like you play each game. You don't look like you don't look at two games ahead. You play mm. each game. You play your best squad each game. You don't okay. Well, look at this quote ahead, and Ford mentioned about uh, like the players. I mean, Kyle Walker. I don't rate the guy. I don't know why they what they bought him. And, and the problem is, uh, we can't blame the players. Pep likes these players. He's the one that bought them. So anything they do, all the all the responsibility goes to Pep. I mean, all the fail if they do bad, it all the blame goes to Pep. Because I, I like this Pep is just I don't rate. I, I, I mean, I don't rate him highly because because of this. Okay, all right. Yeah. Can't, can't wait to Come back later. H -H 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 -H. How many levels of brick, brick academy do you have? Such as A, B, C, so, D. So, 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 so we have class C, class B, class A scholarship, and Alonso is currently has a PhD. No, 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 no. You have to give lottery to first Pep Guardiola. No, 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 no PhD. Give him directly lottery. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Do you know how yeah, many yeah. zeros? 
no, 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 no. Let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you. Do you know how many zeros, <laughs> like in that figure, you have after seven? <laughs> No, 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 I'm not kidding. No, no, no. I, I said you, HH. On the last week hangout, I said you, you have to put this guy directly into Britain. I don't care. Wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. From a tactical perspective as well. Okay? Just right now. This guy is your best player, yeah? This guy is your best player. How you benched him in the first leg, that was the mess. That was the end. When you come up with zero goals, yeah? With zero. With one more zero, you came up with. And secondly, arrogance. What kind of arrogance was that? Oh, we, that was Spurs team. You know, we have beaten them, defeated them, butchered them, you know, in the Premier League. So it's easy for us. Like, we, we'll be relaxed, you know, to play against them. We'll get away goal kind of stuff. Wow. What kind of mentality is that? What kind of, you know, pre-mindset you have? And the final thing I just want to say on this stuff, yeah? Aguaro, do you call him the best striker? Like, no. especially the Premier no. League fanboys? Are you mad? Premier League match. Do you call him the best striker? <laughs> No, not no, no, touching Lewandowski. No, no, no. Forget about touching oh, Lewandowski. He's not no, sniffing near oh, Benzema level, man. Okay? You're not <laughs> sniffing near <laughs> yeah. Benzema Wait, 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 wait. Munsa, finish, finish. Munsa. Look, man, look, man. The way you... Uh, even in the second leg, you're, you're benching Fernandinho because he has one yellow card, so, you know, he, he might miss the uh, semi-final. What is that, bro? Come on, man. Yeah, no way. No way. You, you cannot jeopardize your situation. And you know what? Stones. Stones, yeah? Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Laporte. Laporte needs to be directly into the Brick Academy Z. What, yeah. Whatever you have. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. going to say something about Laporte. I'm going to say something about Laporte. Wait. Let me be about Laporte. He had a bad game. Yes. I'm sorry. In my view, let's let's take that second leg away. Laporte has played really well and been one of City's best defenders. No, 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 no. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. No, you can't, you can't no, just wait, take it away. No, no, no. Guys, let's become... Because see, it's, it's very... People have very short-term memory. And I know that when you play really badly, people are like... Oh, let's be real. For the past two, three months, compare Laporte's performances to Varane and Umtiti. Laporte has been the best performing French central defender. He just mm -hmm. everybody has a bad game. Bro, 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 bro. Hatred, 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 hatred. You're forgetting it. Hatred, hatred. Yes. I get lonely out here. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go to Montaha. Yeah, hatred. The Premier League defending. I'm talking about Champions League. Where was Laporte? Wait, wait, wait. You say Premier League, but where's the Premier League team as well? No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. First of all, Premier League boys need to chill, yeah? Because yeah. Premier League is not the technical level or the closer to the level of quarterfinal, semifinal champions. So why are there more Premier League teams? Wait, 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 guys, I said to one of the seven, let's just Montana, let him land. You look at the best in England, bro. I haven't seen the best team in Spain. Okay, or in, in Germany, Bayern Munich, or mm. Barcelona, Madrid, yeah, they are the literally best team, and they are ruling Spain, and they are like you know getting out in the quarterfinals. Apart from last season, Barcelona. Exactly. Except that. That's true. Except that. It's good, it's a good man, point. Good point. If you're a best Three. team, if you're a best team, at least you have to be semi-finalists, bro. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah. You That's end up performing, and your and league, yeah, your league. Now I have to doubt, and now I have to, you know, you know what, you know what, you have to compare the technical level. Which Premier League players can play in the Champions League? That's that's the that's the quality of this league, yeah. This I'm telling you, this league is full of dong. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> guys, look, it's it's all it's all gonna get explosive, man. Oh, oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 yeah, uh, you said who who do we blame? So, 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 who who if you have to pick one fox to blame it, do you blame Pep? Do you blame Aguero? Do you blame La Laporte? Illiterate. None on. of the above. We I blame Sonaldo for being too good. Rosan was just too good on the night. He was what? clutch. Showed up and scored a brace. Like, why are we focusing on, on on tearing down Pep when we could just praise this player? He stepped up in a Champions League quarterfinal against one of the best Premier League sides yeah. we've seen recently. And with nah, that, nah, just nah, to throw nah, your nah, argument, yeah, just to throw your league, argument right? outside the window, just to throw your argument outside the window. He was playing a Premier League team with that. So all that fancy football that you're talking about and you're being condescending towards the Premier League, he was playing against another Premier League team. So there you go. That's, um, what, that's your level. No, no, but that's your okay. level. Yeah. 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 Now, now. Now, now, uh, let's just imagine. Cut, cut. No, no, no. Just imagine I, this team, yeah, facing Barcelona in final. 
I'm telling look, you, look, man. Look, we don't have to imagine they're out. We, they're gone. We don't have to worry about that. He's guy to take red. Yeah, anyways, uh, what's it called? About, now, about Pep, I said last week, two things I said. I said, one, he took a gamble, which it could have paid off, and I was going to praise him, but it didn't pay off. It actually backfired because now he's out of the Champions League, and he the league isn't guaranteed for him because Liverpool are, are on him. Uh, and second, uh, like... Sorry, lost my train of thought. My bad. But yeah, Pep, like, he, his teams are glass cannons. His teams are glass cannons. Like, it, as soon as uh, Tottenham put a bit of pressure on them, their defense their defense folded. And it's his fault that they were put in that position. If in the first leg you played every game at a time instead of worrying about three, four games yeah. ahead, you would have you would have had the, you would have have put yourself in this situation to begin with. You could have dealt with Spurs because they've routinely beat Spurs. Like City are clearly the better team. They're, even after the win, I still would say City are a better team than Spurs. Yeah. But it's it's just that Pep set them up poorly. He he took a risk. Why bench De Bruyne? Why is Sané not getting any game can time? I, can I come like, back to you on that? No, no, no. Okay, okay. okay. Um, yeah. So, so I, like, let's see. So, if he ends up not winning the Premier League, then HH, he has to be a brick. He has to be a brick. Like, no, no, no. The no, 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 no. Okay. Um, Saswat. Saswat. Yeah. I, HH, you know the answer. The answer is quite clear. It's Pep. Because this is this has to be one of the worst team selections in a knockout game that I've ever seen. Damn. Like, one of the worst. Because, yeah. Uh, for someone who's this, this technically good, Sane and De Bruyne, how can you bench these guys? Uh, when you have such an important game. That just goes to show that Pep Guardiola's priority was never the Champions League. It was always the Crystal Palace game. And Crystal Palace did a fluke in the Etihad. That we have, Everybody knew. Especially after seeing that uh, home game. That they won't it was complete. So basically, it's just down to Pep. And I don't know why people are giving so much credit to Pep. Because Pep is a defensive clown. He does not know anything about defensive. He knows that he's going to have so much of the ball. He knows that the only tactic that he has is... Good point. Good point. And he, knows, and he knows that Spurs are going to counter-attack. He knows this thing. But literally, and his fullbacks, are, they know, he knows that his fullbacks are not going to put in a lot of crosses. So at least at some point, the fullbacks have the audacity and have the brain to track back. But they don't do that. And everybody's blaming Laporte. Laporte I know Laporte is not the best defender in the world. But... This was, uh, yeah, this was, he had a lot of brain farts in this game. But it's just down to Pep's uh, tactics. He has to tell these fullbacks to drop back because he knows that Tottenham have the pace to counter-attack. He knows this fact. And uh, not playing Fernandinho. Well, that was a risk, but he needed those, those Gs. Yeah, yeah but, yeah, but still, he knows with, uh, he knows that constantly uh, attacking with the squad they, uh, they have, playing Sané, Sterling, De Bruyne, his best players. He knows that he's going to get goals. He has done that in the past. But this time he went conser conservative and he paid the price. It's just basically okay. trying to be conservative in Champions League and prioritizing the, prioritizing the like, Premier League. Okay. League. All right. Um, next talk. Okay. Wait, no. I've got to come back on another story. I have to come back. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Just a quick comeback and then we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, okay, a lot of people want to throw, uh, throw a lot of shade onto Pep right now. And I, I think this is completely uncalled for. Like, if you look at it, if you break it down piece by piece, right? He, if you, I don't know if anybody watched Pep Guardiola's pre-match press conference when he talked about Kevin De Bruyne. I don't think anybody here watched it, but he talked about how we couldn't play Kevin De Bruyne in three games in a week. And we saw what happens when he played in three games in a week. He got injured in a league game against Spurs, which is why he didn't start him in the first leg game against Spurs and obviously at their stadium. So that's why he didn't want to play him in that game. I thought tactically, when he played Gundogan and Fernandinho in that first leg, it worked. It stifled Tottenham a lot. You can't disagree and say it didn't when they only had few shots on target compared to obviously what, how my team dominated possession and what and so forth and so on and so forth. Ford, you need to, Sane, Ford the ABC went, of Champions League football is you need an away goal. Yeah, and past the loss, so and, 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 and he got the penalty, and he got the penalty. But why did he get the penalty? And it's not, and it's, and it's not, and it's not, and it's not. Fernandinho was uh, was slightly injured for going into the second leg. Like, again, you, if you listen to Pep Guardiola's statement in his in, in his press conference, you would have seen that as well. By the way, also when it comes to Sane, and I, I think this needs, this needs to be said because again, I think a lot of people look at Sane with this through tinted through tinted glasses, and I think you can see the ability there. He's pacey, he can go past the play with ease, but he's not the player everybody thinks he is. He's not an amazing player. Not not, not right now. He's an, he's very inconsistent. Yeah, from, yeah, he's yeah, 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 yeah. And the most and the okay, most. You're, 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 you're and, smoking. No 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 no. Yeah, and the most you, you, no no no. You can't come and say Sané is not an amazing player. That's not my part. Let me pass. Okay, let him land. Let's go on Ford talk. Thank you. Everybody relax. Chill. The reason why I say that is because you look at look at 
what the fuck are you doing over there? Look, when you look at it and compare him to Sterling, Sterling is play, performing amazing football right now. You don't you don't bring in Sane to disrupt your best player with Sterling right now. He's performing. If you move in, if you move Sane, he has to play on the left, and you have to move Sterling to the right, and that means you have to displace one of Sterling or Bernardo Silva, who were amazing in that game. Again, we're not just talking about oh, Pep got the, the tactics wrong. They outplayed Tottenham in the 90 minutes. They even scored a last minute winner. Yes, they got disrupted because of VAR, but they outplayed them. So how can people say that oh, Man City and Pep got his tactics wrong? No, they outplayed them. It's not his fault that he didn't take the chances and finish. This is anybody who says it's Pep Guardiola's fault, I completely disagree. Oh, 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 when Harry Kane or their song just becomes the main man and attack, and the team is more flowing because it doesn't have to all go through. Harry Kane is, is, is a pure number nine, you know what I mean? And Song is like a left wing who can do everything. He can finish, he can dribble everything. But Harry Kane is like, it's like saying who's the main man, Uguero or Sterling, you know what I mean? It's obviously not now, like it's different, but it's just. No, Harry no, no, no. Okay. Main man. no. So, so, like, who is. Tottenham's best player. Who is their main man? Their best player. Their 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 top guy. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Consistency wins always. Okay. Well, out. But clutch sometimes wins over consistency. But okay. Barca. Who is Tottenham's best player? Son or Kane? Son and Pochettino. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Christ. Who is Tottenham's best player? Son or Kane? Cause... Okay. Um, Wait. How yeah, Christ. Who is Tottenham's best player, Son or Kane? Yeah. Um. Okay. It was. I was gonna say Harry Kane, HH, but I've never seen Harry Kane step up the way Son just did. Like this. This was such a big game, and the quality of the goals that he scored, that impressed me. Like, and the fact that I've never seen Harry Kane do this, like this level of performance and this magnitude of a game. I think a son has passed Harry Kane now. Okay. I really do. And but the bad thing is he's not gonna be there for the first leg against Ajax. Yeah, huge miss, huge so. miss. All right, four. Who is Tottenham's best player? Son or Kane? Yeah, on this we definitely agree, HH is son. Um when people question his consistency, I think people have to look at how Tottenham build their team, how Pochettino builds his team and he clearly builds it to gear towards yeah. Harry Kane when he started in the team. But you guys see when Son when Harry Kane isn't there and Son's able to take the limelight and really cement himself as the guy to really take the chances and be the limelight of the team, he absolutely shines and he produces big moment after big moment. He's an amazing player, two footed, agile can go either way. It's amazing the way he way, the way he dominated Man City and Laporte and Stones in those games on um, this this past week. So yeah, hundred percent is son, hundred percent is son. And if they build his team around if they build the team around him, I think you'll see even more consistency and more obviously amazing plays like what we saw in the in the Champions League this week. Uh, Hazem. Son. All right. Jujima. I'll wait until the second leg against. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. As of, as of rights now, who is Tottenham's best player? Son or Kane? Uh, uh, no, no, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. It, I'll just special mention Danny Rose is the best English left back, but I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh, 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 why, why do you want to wait and why can't you tell me now? Because Laporte just gave away two free goals. He gave away two free goals. Nah, <laughs> that's goal, he gave away two free goal. goals. I'm, not, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm no, that's, not, that's not good enough. Because Laporte just gave away. Son didn't even have to touch. He just he placed it perfectly for Son to finish. So, oh, I'm not, oh, okay, so, 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 so Son's opening goal in the first leg and his second goal in the second leg isn't pure skill. A first because, leg. Because, because yeah. he still needs to finish. Yeah, but but first leg. Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. That Edison, that was a ho horrific, horrific save. He couldn't even take it by his leg. No, no, no. Let's be honest. You can't just say that that was like an amazing goal. Edison, I don't know what he was doing. And, no, and that, no, that was down. an amazing goal. That, that was an amazing hard, goal. When you hit that hard and low, it's hard for a goalkeeper to get down no, and save that. He should have used his foot. He didn't have to go down. He should have just used his foot. I don't know why he was going down. I, I think the, the song goes, I don't want to sound like a hater because he's soon. So that's why I'll wait until later. But I think some of those goals are overhyped because it's just basic. Okay. It's okay. 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 okay, 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 fair enough. Fair enough. Look, I, I, th I think you're, you're talking crazy, but that's fair. <laughs> Munzaha, who's Tottenham's best player? Uh, Son, the face of sports, the superstar. Believe that. Red, Tottenham's best player. 
uh, Kane, but Sun is, is catching up. Sun is catching up. What, HH, what, what, how am I going to put – look, don't get me wrong. I love Sun. I've been preaching his name, mm. but, dude, Kane's been doing this for years. Like, we're not going to just act like Kane. Okay, like, okay, yeah, okay, right. Okay, let me – let me, let me, let me respond. He's been doing this for years. Cool. No, we, we got – no, no, HH, we got when, to – No, 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 no. Okay, look, okay, okay, you said you've been doing it for years. Cool. Mm-hmm. Premier League is not the be-all and end-all. Sorry. No. Yeah. Okay, so wait, 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 let me land, let me land, let me land, let me land. Premier League is only building handle, so being some scorer or scoring the goal in Premier League is cool, it's great. As we've seen from Al Aguero, who has been doing great stuff in Premier League, Champions League flop, hence why he can't talk to the to the cannibal. So my thing with Kane is has Kane ever done what Son did in these two games? Uh Name, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, name yeah. me another game of this magnitude that he has delivered like this. In the World Cup, HH. Every game is bigger than this game. Oh, like Panama? any game in the World Cup. Oh, he showed God. up and he won the Golden Panama. Boot. Yes, he won. The, doesn't matter. No. doesn't matter. Those are those are games that you have to win. Red, 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 red. Red, let's be real. Most of those goals he scored was against a team who was, it was I think it was their first time coming coming in, into it. And another team was called to, to, to Tunisia. And in the knockout game, he scored a penalty against Colombia. And when it became time to really be clutch in a semi-final, he failed to square to Sterling and, and score. Yeah. So let's just—I mean, let's just be real here, like because what annoys me is that Son. Did you see what Son just did against a team that people thought were one of the favorites to win the Champions League? Did you see the, the kinds of goals? Yes, yes. It wasn't just the penalty. It wasn't the okay. penalty. This way, three real goals. Yeah, I, and I res- like I respect that highly, yeah. but let I want to see Sun do this again and again ah, yes. because okay, they, wow. okay, because, cool. because Kane 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 can never win you guys over. Kane won the uh, the Premier League Golden Boot back to back. Let's not forget <laughs> that. <laughs> the <laughs> Premier League Golden Boot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No, no, so, no, no. So, 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 Premier League Golden Boot is more than than scoring three clutch goals in a Champions League quarterfinal against one of the best teams in in Europe. Okay. All right, yeah, cool. in England, in England, right. in England. Sorry, in England. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Um, that's what. That's what. Who thought was the best player? Son or Kane? Nah, I think it's. Uh, just might be one of the guys. Sorry, pressing me. Yeah, way past me. I think it's Ericsson because this guy will literally does. Ericsson. Yeah, yeah Ericsson. Yeah. Because oh, even if even if Poch even if Pochino goes defensive. Ericsson is the uh, one who actually solidifies this defense, and that's the whole back. And he also plays them on the counter attack. When Pochettino tries to go attacking, then uh, Ericsson is the one who plays uh, literally the number 10 in that team. So Ericsson, I think he's the star man, and he keeps everything going. Son, I second to him, I would say it's Son, because Son has the mentality and the clutch. So the, Hurricane is third, but Ericsson, in my opinion, is a star. I don't think, uh, by the way, I don't think that Sun can't be. I think Sun it will be. I just feel like, as it stands right now, it's disrespectful to Kane. No, Red, you don't have to defend yourself. Red, you don't no, have no, to no, 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 Red, look, I totally agree. Again, it's your view, and again, you give compelling arguments, but for me, there's a difference between somebody who is consistent and plays a role in a team, and a guy where, when things are hot, I look to you to take us to the promised land. When the pressure is highest and I need a guy to come clutch in the most difficult moments, I'm not looking to Har- Harry Kane. See, Harry Kane m- m- will probably get me there. But the superstar, the true alpha male, the, the true big man is the guy where biggest moments, I want you. That is what Raul does. That is what a Maradona does. That's what a Didier Drogba does. Which is why those guys are the alpha males and the main guys. The clutch guys are the ghost guys where when it's hottest, do you have the mentality? Kane doesn't have that mentality. So, as we've seen, it's built for this. So, oh, yeah. no, I, 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 like the fact that he actually, the fact that it would like okay. human sign, like he cried because usually you see teams that don't believe they win the world cup, they lose, they just trade shirts and they leave. Like he was crying because he actually believed he has, you are right, he does have that mentality. Can I ask you a small question? So, do you think the only way a guy can, a player can be clutch is just by scoring? No, 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 I mean. For instance, like people, people would argue, Cannavaro was clutch. People do that. No matter what, Cannavaro would always hold the line. Sergio Ramos in Real Madrid's run, Ramos had a lot of key clutch performances, especially in the second legs when he was pretty much having to to to, to do a lot of the defending because Varane was pretty much holding his lead. Not so, the thing about scoring goals, it's about 
who is the main guy that's your that really holds your team together in the toughest moments. I don't care about you scoring five goals against a, a hardest or, or someone. It's about can you score a goal in a, in a semi, in a quarter, in a Champions League when things are a, are against you. What son son scored the winning goal against Manchester in the first leg, and this guy against one of players yeah. scored two flipping goals at City's crib in a Champions League quarterfinal, knowing that City were pretty much building and looking to win this flipping competition. I don't know what more he has to prove. I don't know. Two games. Two games. I think that's pretty. Two games. He's been doing it the whole season. No, no, no. Wait, easy. Next up, next up, next up. Now, next up. Now, you guys will enjoy this. Barca. So, um, <laughs> Pep. Yeah, so, yeah. with so let's so let's, so let's say this now. So, last time Pep Guardiola won the Champions League, he had Lionel Messi. Three seasons with Bayern Munich, they didn't reach a Champions League final. This is now three seasons with Man City, and they've not reached a Champions League semi final. He took over a Jupp Heinkes team that won the, the treble where everybody on that team was pretty much at their peak. Man City, this guy has spent ridiculous amounts. So my question is this. Where really should we rate Pep, Pep Guardiola amongst the greatest managers, knowing that would he have won those trophies for that Champions League without Lionel Messi? Ali, where, where, where does Pep Guardiola rate as a, as a manager? Oh, in my opinion, Pep Guardiola is top five in history. Okay, as a manager, for me, greatest manager of all time, Sir Alex, and he's only won two champs leagues. He's won it already, so the fact is, the problem is he has to win it again. He's a, but the problem is he's spent over a billion. Damn. He's had the yeah, he had the best team in the world at Bayern. All he had to do was play the same football. He probably would have won it again, repeated it. He had uh, what do you call it? He bought fullbacks for fifty million. United are playing tried to buy players for fifty million. I forgot about fullbacks. There's no excuse for him anymore, in my opinion. But I think that you, you have to rate him highly because he's a he's a he's winning league titles. He's not he's it's, not going trophyless. Wait, 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 wait. He was going trophyless. Pep or Mourinho? Who's 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 the who's the greater manager? Pep or Mourinho? And that's a tough one. I hate Mourinho, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I think Mourinho was more clutch in you as you say. He's won it with Porto. He's won it triple or enter. But I'm going to have to go for Guardiola. Just because no. he's got a beautiful football, man. He wins always. Yeah. Okay. And trophies as well. Okay, all right. Um, Barca, um, what does Pep Guardiola rate as a manager based on his failings in the Champions League? All right, Christ, where does Pep Guardiola rate as a manager of all time? Based on his and his feelings in the Champions League. Um, yeah, man. I think Pep Guardiola is a great manager, but um, I always think he hasn't proved it enough. Um, with especially considering how much money he spent. Um, he spends way too much money compared to um, uh, other managers, and he's given a lot of money. Um, so I don't think he's the greatest manager ever, man. It's hard for me to say, especially after this, like. I mean, really, man? Seven hundred million, man. Seven hundred million. So, 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 Pep, wait, Pep, 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 Pep or Pep. Mourinho? Who's who? Who's the greatest manager, Pep or Mourinho? Oh, that's an easy question, man. It's Mourinho, man. Um, I'm a Juve fan. I hate Mourinho because he was Inter manager. But what he's done with Porto, what he's done with Inter Milan, um, his record-breaking season with Real Madrid, breaking the record for most points against Pep's Barca, I might add. Um. So he's done it in more leagues. He's done it in more um, teams. So I think it's Mourinho. Man. If you don't say Mourinho, okay. you're just a hater. All right. yeah. Sorry. And guess who just joined the party? FG. Is your mic working, bro? FG. Okay, so this is Michael on there. Um, forward. Um, Pep, what, what, what is your rank? Um, yeah, he's definitely at the uh, the top table that you you not quite often uh, talk about. Um, again, his pitfalls are very well documented. I think everybody in the hangout is going to talk about them in detail. But I just want to remind everybody of what he's been able to do in terms of league football. Again, obviously how he dominated Spain for many years with Barcelona. God. He dominated Germany. Yes, okay. Given they're going to dominate with Bayern Munich. With no, 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 no. Stop. 
Are yeah. you going to really give him credit for dominating Germany? Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. I was just going to say, I'm not giving him massive credit for it, but I mean, he's done it. Like, you can't see that. You can't take it away from him. Yes, I, no, yes, I bloody well can. Because well, take tankers it have already done, done it before. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, but it's, it's Sorry. No, 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 no. That is a loser's win. No, that is loser's credit. No, 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 no. If you come to Bayern, you expect expected to walk up. Based on the team that he had, come on, give me a break, bro. Give me a break. Again, it's still again it's on the resume. Is it is it as good as Leslie winning free if he was to win it back to back to back with Man City? No, it's not. Of course it's not as amazing an achievement, of course, but it's still on his resume. It's still something that he accomplished. Is it a major accomplishment? No, it's not. But now with Man City, how he's dominated in the league. Okay, we're gonna talk about Europe in a second, but how he's dominated in the league, if he was to win it again back to back, that would be amazing, especially the records that he broke in his first season. Oh, sorry, his um his first title winning season. And if he was to win it this season, especially from being what eight points behind this Liverpool team, if he's to win the league this season, he deserves massive credit for that now when it comes to europe without Barcelona and obviously that Messi, then that's when it becomes a bit murky obviously with what he's done obviously he should have done better with a Bayern munich team 100 percent i thought if you think about it even the way he exited those three semi-finals with Bayern munich i think they got embarrassed in pretty much all of them by spanish teams as well so yeah he definitely deserves a lot of discredit for that um and obviously man city again not making a semi-final with this team that's that's also a major black uh marker on his on his tv no doubt about it but Overall, yeah, he's still a top manager. People can't take it away from just because of what he's done recently in the Champions League. I think overall, he's still a top manager. And yes, you're going to ask me, he's better between him and Mourinho. Hmm. Um, you know what? Just because of the teams that they've managed, you have to go with Mourinho. Because Mourinho's had a lot worse downfalls. But at the same time, he's the, Pep's not managed these kind of teams. He's managed always the best team in each of these countries. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Mourinho. Yes. I'm going to go with Mourinho. All right. And I'm um, go as as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I mean, this year he really should have uh, won it. But um, if we're going by right now, uh, I'll put Pep in the top ten of managers of all time. Uh, the top five would be um, what's his name? Ferguson, uh, 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 Renus Nichols, uh, Saki, Ancelotti, and um, Hankins. And then obviously uh, after that you have the um, Pep in the top ten. I would say. And uh, obviously, I, th I think he he did set a legacy with his football, but I think it's kind of overrated and attributed a bit too much to him because he took a lot of elements from uh, Cruyff. from Cruyff and even from Mikels, who set the initial legacy of Toto football. Uh, so I th I think look, Pep deserves credit for what he did with Barcelona, but all those managers that uh, that I, that I stated above him, uh, all of them didn't have a player as influential and as good as Messi with them. And they didn't have, uh, I don't think they had um, as good a team, maybe you could say. And uh, I, I think even Mourinho is, is, a, is above Pep. I think Mourinho is above, their, uh, above Pep because of he also left a huge legacy. And um, Mourinho was a man of results and he did whatever it took to get those results. With Pep, I think he tried to take his playing style with Barcelona, with the players he had, and implement it exactly the same everywhere else. And uh, many times it, it, it came short mm. because of his fail of adaptation to certain situations. Mm -hmm. um, I think, yeah, that's what really limits him. And if he changed, he's still a young guy, so he could definitely get into the top five. He maybe become the greatest manager, but, you know, currently as a stance, he still is not. He still needs to change a lot of things and rethink uh, how, he, how he deals. So, yeah, top, top 10. All right, Muntaha, Pep. Uh, yeah, I hate it, man. Like, to be honest, before the style, sports style, I was like, I was fool to consider Pep as a top three manager of all time. Top top three greatest managers of all time, you can say that. But now I came to realize this guy and have done some from basic research work that overall from the day from Barcelona to 2008 to 2019, this guy has spent 1.1 billion pounds, bro. I, I, bro, do you understand that, that amount of money? A billion pounds. Like, you have so much luxury to spend any kind of player and buy any, any one of them. Especially with the Barcelona, there's a myth. Like, he didn't spend the money. He spent 300 million pounds just on transfer fee to buy the players. For, like, when he was a coach of Barcelona. After that... Hello? Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, when he went to Bayern Munich, that team has already won the treble. Yep. And that was like one of the greatest Champions League side ever mm. for me. Okay. And that and, team has and, a chance. He, he didn't reach yeah. the final once. No, no, forget about the final. That team can win back to back trebles. Do you know that? In the history of football, that would mm. be the like the 
magnificent achievement like we have ever witnessed. And he spoiled that team. For me, look, man, like people say that, oh, Dortmund used to, what do you call, uh, used to give tough fight and they used to win the titles before, you know, Pep came. No, because when Pep came, when Pep arrived, this team, yeah, they added Lewandowski as well. And that was a peak Lewandowski they added into that team. Okay. And uh, if you see the Dortmund, they were like on fifth position, fourth position, third. So they were struggling at that time. When he came to Man City, bro, look, look at the players he had before. He had Aguero, he had Kevin De Bruyne, he had David Silva, Fernandinho, Vincent Company, Otamendi, like, uh, you know, Raheem Sterling. Mm -hmm. I know he improved Raheem Sterling a lot, but come on, man. This, this guy, man, for me, like, he, that's utter failure, man. That's utter failure. You, 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 like, you cannot defend this guy. I'm, I, I'm a, look, 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 look. People will think, okay, in the chats, like, I'm a Madrid fan, so, you know, I'm biased. But no, I, I, like, I prefer attacking football philosophy. I don't like Mourinho, to be honest. But when I see Mourinho's legacy with limited amount, I think there's nothing with Porto. And with Inter Milan, he just, you know, bought Samuel Eto. And he don't have Messi behind him to support him. Now Xavi, you know, Iniesta in mm. that team. And the way he achieved, I think so, Mourinho, for me, is top five. And I'm ranking down that from my top five position. Unless, unless he win the most, like, you know, dominant, dominantly the Champions so, League or treble. Okay, okay so where would you rate Pepe then? Top 10, top 20, top 50? I, I would say eight or nine. Damn! Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, Digimon, Pep, what is your rank? And don't be biased because of what happened to City. Where does Pep rank right now? Is really well, but, Hello? but the one thing I have a problem. Like, I've been saying uh, all over this time, like Champions League is like with the league, he spends more than everyone. He has the most score depth. So the the league, I know he he's supposed to win it, but it doesn't it doesn't add that much to his leg. I mean, he he'll win the Premier League, but it's it's okay. But I mean, it's good. But I think the Champions League record is 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 is, is, is poor. It's Champions League record is poor. I don't rate him. I think what's his name? I mean, Ferguson, of course, is. The best, co the best manager, yeah. Pep Guardiola. I still think he's top three, despite all the, all his Champions League failures. He's top three because he's the way he's dominant. He's dominant against uh, his playing style, which is dominant against. What's, what about the teams like his managed man, Bayern Munich man? That was easy. That was yeah, easy. yeah, but, yeah, but I, what's he called? But when when he was at Bayern, I think Bayern played really well. They played really good football. And the, uh, the one thing I liked about Pep is he experimented, even though it's like hipster, like he's playing like, like what's his name, Lam, uh, defensive me. But it was it was cool. Like it, 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 it was nice. So you're, so, you're, so you're giving me credits for being a hippie. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it's like it's just different. It's, no one's doing this. So like the way he's experimenting. The one problem I have, Pep, is you should put him in the Brick Academy if he doesn't win this Premier League. C considering of what he like, City could have been in the Champions League final if Pep just like if he took each game as a final and didn't think ahead or like he was thinking about the quadruple, he, he would have been in the Champions League final. So if he doesn't make it, just just put it in the Brick Academy. No one will be offended. Seriously, no one will be offended. Put him because it's like he has to win this Premier League. Okay. After, after what he did in the Champions League. All right. Okay. Red. Uh, he, he's top 10 because, like, regardless of the teams he had, uh, he sought to dominate those leagues. Like, and, and the thing is, he didn't just win the league. He broke records winning the league comfortably. Though Mourinho did have a better record in Spain on this individual season. Mourinho has statistically the best La Liga uh, season of all time. Um, but Pep is, like, r right under him. You know what I mean? Like, so... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just top ten. Top ten. Mu. I still rate Mu uh, above Mourinho because, of course, Mu did it with Porto. He first uh, to win the Champions League with Inter Milan since 1962, without a treble, um, and also the respect of the players that play for him. Uh, yeah. So I, 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 I just feel like Mourinho is still above Pep. Pep is top ten right now, all time, and yeah. Okay. Sasquatch, Pep. How do you rate him? Yeah. I mean. Um... He's not as as he's a real I think you need to get closer to your mic. You you sound like you're in Baghdad. It's, you need to get closer to your mic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah. Okay. Why do you want to get rock into this? All right. Um. Sorry, I think he just dropped us. So, um, let's so <laughs> Juventus eight in a row. 
Yes. <laughs> and yes, yes. Oh, no, no, for that. I'm sorry. No, I'm doing a, 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 a celebratory video because we want to send. So, wait. So, <sighs> double H, one, one, one point. No, don't forget the, the Europa League uh, semi finals. Those are really good. Like, oh, no, no, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Trust me. We, 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 trust me. It's, it's on the dock. It's on the dock. But let's just do this. So, mm. This is it's very simple. I don't I don't I don't care about PSG winning their title. Those 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 guys can get lost a bunch of losers. Um will event source. This is what I want and I pray and I pray that I can see this. Will event source win ten Syria titles in a row? Ali. Um, ten in a row. I yeah. think I think they are, they are at, two away. Uh, they are, they are two away. They've got an 18 in a row. Do you think they'll do I 10 think, in a row? Yeah. I think looking at the teams in Serie right? The S Milan is decent, but they need rebuilding, maybe a year or two. I think they could do it 10 in a row because they've got Ronaldo as well. And as you've seen, they're going to buy players this summer. Ramsey is joining gonna, them. Ramsey is joining them for free. They might even get Rabi for free. Who knows? Mm. Then they're going to evolve. Ronaldo's not going to stay here and just be a showboy and run about. You know, he needs to win the Champions League. That's his main goal. And to win the Champions League, you need your team better. They have to make it better. And they, if they get better, what well, teams like Milan and Napoli and them try to catch up to them, I don't think they'll do it in two years' time. So I think they can make it 10 in a row, yes. Damn. All right. Christ, can your boys do, do 10 in a row? Um, yes, we can, Double H, but um, besides that, mm. um, I think we need to get um, a creative midfielder in the summer. What's wrong with Pjanic? To... Oh, you got Ramsey. Uh, no, Pjanic is fine, but Matt Tweedy's a donkey, man. He, he was born to be a donkey, man. Relax. This guy does nothing Yo. Respect him, World I'm Cup sorry, winner, respect him. H he's, a World... he's a World Cup winner, bro, so. Is this yeah. World... Oh, 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 no, no, okay, okay, so, so why do you believe that, it's, that they can do 10 in a row? Um... I just believe that. Um, so you don't um, think Roman and Inter can and Ace Milan can, can strengthen next season or the season after? I think they can, but I feel like we're going to straighten as well. I mean, look at Double H. Let's be honest, man. Financially, we're way more financial than them. So we can only improve That's not from true. what we have right now. Um, yeah, that no, is true. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go ahead and invest into Lenzo. Christ, finish. Um, I just feel like we have the money to improve our squad when we need to. And it, but it, it's it's gonna be a good feeling, you know. Let Milan fans suffer year after year. It's, it's good, but we just need to add. Yeah, keep on building Champions League. Oh. Okay. Four. Will it? Will we see ten in a row? The big one, the, the big ten, the perfect ten. It's gonna happen. Before I speak, and Hazem promised not to interrupt me. Hazem, please don't interrupt him. Don't take the debate. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. First and foremost, what, I want to just know what H is. Why are you asking the question? It's already done. Ten in a row is already certified. It's here. It's happening. Then nobody else is catching them. If Napoli had the resources, maybe they could. Milan, they're still three or four years behind. So even with the amount of money they're going to throw at it, they're not going to catch Juventus. Let's be real. They got Ronaldo there. He's going to automatically guarantee you another two, three, four league titles in a row. And if you really look at it, the crux of it, another team in the stripes just got just won eight league titles in a row, and that was Celtic. So in essence, the Serie A is basically a glorified Scottish league. There it is. The no league word. is finished. Damn. Hazem. That is how, that is how it works. It's finished, man. The Hazem, league, the league is done. please give me an argument as to why Juventus, or please give me a complaining reason why Juventus can't win 10 in a row when they've, when they've just completed eight in a row. Okay, look. First, the, uh, I think Juventus are going to win next season. I think they're going to win nine in a row. But I don't think they're gonna win ten in a row. And the reason I'm saying this is, uh, f first of all, the um, the Milan clubs. Now that Inter have already been in Champions League one year, and now Inter are off FFP regulations, uh, so they have the money, the ability to spend, and uh, they have the pulling power as well. So I think in two years' time, Inter will be at a, unfortunately at a, at a position to challenge for the title. And I think once. Um, that happens. Uh, it'll be really dangerous. As for Milan, if we make the Champions League this season um, and we build on next season, then I think in two years' time we can also challenge for the for the for the for the title. And uh, I think once the Milan clubs are challenging Juventus, I think Juventus um, they're gonna pussy out and uh, they're not, they're not gonna able to do, they're, they're not gonna be able to deal with the pressure because. The Milan clubs are not Na the Milan clubs are not Napoli. I'm sorry, Napoli are just pure ballers. Okay, they completely bottled it last year. I mean, Juventus literally had uh, Napoli had it secured last year, 
and they still they manage to bottle it somehow. So if if you have teams that actually aren't going to bottle it, uh, fighting for it, and not one but two teams, I think events are going to crumble under pressure, especially if um, Allegri is still there. And uh, yeah, man, I think Juventus, they're going to keep on bottling Champions Leagues, of course. And I think they're going to win the league next oh season. But God. the season after, I think things are going to get interesting. And uh, yeah, that's okay. it. All right. So nine in a row, but not ten. Yeah. Juju, man. It's still embarrassing. With, with, with Juventus, I, I, I'm not sure about this club because they, they, uh, after that Ajax game, they, they, the squad, I don't know if it has to do with the league or the age of the The age of the players is also a long term. The club is not going to win it. I mean, ten in a row. That's before the World Cup. The next World Cup. I don't, I'm, that's too far. I don't think the. No. Oh, I, yeah. But I'm not sure. I, I think they'll still do it. They'll still do it because. <laughs> so, 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 they will do ten in a row, or they won't do ten in a row. They they will do ten in a row. Yes. Yes. Inter Milan was the second club that I was looking at, but then the the way if Inter Milan get Antonio Conte, they're not doing it. But. What's it called? With Inter Milan, there's, they don't have a sp- supporting cast for Icardi, and that's a that's a problem. And 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 what's it's it called? Mourinho. And yep, yeah, and Mourinho, that that could help. But with Juventus, I'm concerned about the the way this like the, the way they played against Ajax is just they look tired for some reason. I don't know why. They look. I know the the Chiellini and all Chiellini, Bazzali are old. Rogani is not that good. Chesney is. They have a decent goalkeeper. Alexandro is, is trash, to be honest. Uh, Cancelo, no good defensively. What's his name? Emery, Ch- Emery Khan is not a footballer. L- let's be honest, he's a workhorse. He's just a runner. And Matuidi is an engine. Plays well. Plays well. He's good. has a good stamina. He's he's decent. He's decent. Dybala, another flop. Ronaldo, 34. It doesn't look good for this team. Mandzukic, another old guy. Uh, Benedeski ah. is decent. And what's his call? W- w- which other players do they have? Like, Costa injury, so you don't know if Costa will even be available. Quadrado, Quadrado might be there. Quadrado might be there. He's a decent player. So this team doesn't look – the future doesn't look good for Juventus. Uh, the only concern is – I mean, if, if another team emerges, then I don't, I don't, know, I don't see how they win because this team uh, – Champions League, they, they should forget about it because uh, I don't know where they're going. <laughs> well, okay. All right, Muntaha. Ten, is, 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 will 10 in a row happen? I uh, 100% Richard, 100% 100 oh, yes yes I'll tell you I, I, I'll tell you why I'll tell you why look 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 first of all I'm not a any league fan yeah I'm not a Premier League La Liga or Serie A fan so I think so I might be the most objective over here my let's go ahead first of all this team they have obsession they have obsession with Champions League and apart from having obsession from the Champions League they have obsession with your uncle Moose yeah Trevor mm. Yeah, and the, that option can be like, for me, this is what I see. Even if they've been treble, supposedly, hypothetically, okay, that's not going to be better achievement than Uncle Moose treble. Like, even if they've been the treble as well, mm. like next season. So for them to make it look much more better, they have to win 10 times in a row as well. Hey, church. And to win the 10 times in a row and a treble, that makes sense. That makes more bigger achievement. And uh, look, man, I'm not, I'm not denying that the future is... No, 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 but, but, but Monza, do you know what you're saying? So you really believe that a club is going to win 10 yeah. league titles in a row. Do you know how messed up that is? Yes, yes, yes. Because La Decima is going to happen for Cristiano Ronaldo. La Decima is happening, I'm telling you. And this is La Decima. Tent. Look, man, what, I, what I'm saying is that AC Milan, they are good side. They have great players as well, like, you know, Paqueta, Piontek. But they need time. Come on, man. Like, within a one season... Uh, how how much you can improve in a, even if you're investing at least a season or two because they are going to contribute in Champions League as well same with Inter Milan okay Napoli we know they're a bunch of bottles okay so at least they, it will take two years to properly challenge to Juventus by the time Juventus are clinching the entire time. okay red yeah uh, it's it's happening. I, like I can't. I can't really because like I, I get what people say. Like oh, this squad, UV squad's getting old. But UV have proven that they replace players easily. Like these guys had a midfield of Pogba and Pirlo and Vidal at one point. Like and they replaced that. They sold those players, made a profit, and replaced it. And they even got to a Champions League final without that midfield. It 
like Juve just are, are are a huge club. They're very like they're very well run. Like they're they know they 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 like scout talent. They they scout the best talent. The like they got Cancelo and like Cancelo's there to stay and he's a quality right back. I'm hearing also rumors that they're going in for Chiesa as well, which is he's yeah, also yeah. a quality <clears throat> quality young uh, Serie A player. Um, pardon. Ninety million. Yeah, so like they and they will get him like if they want him. They have Moiskeen, he's young and he's killing it. Like Spinazzola, he he's shown and Bernadeschi both like have shown that they they have quality. They're here to stay for at least a couple more seasons. So for me personally, I feel like uh, Juve will get the ten and uh, will get the ten in a row. Like I think they, like uh, we can even start talking about twelve, maybe thirteen. <laughs> oh like God, I really Juve. think oh, that Serie A is going to be easy. Guys, 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 let's 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 do it. No, 12. That's messed up. That's messed up. No, no, yeah, it's, right. it's, it's, let me land. Please, please, please. Okay. Syria yeah, could just become a ritual yeah. where teams play for 38 games and then just Juve, give Juve this Scudetto. Like, that's what yeah. it's turned into now at this point. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter. Juve just going to win it. Like, wait, wait. And Red, on the side note, I just like to say this about uh, what's his name? Moise Keane. He's, I know he's like, oh, it's not cool to hate on black players, but he's a nothing player. Just just put it out there. <laughs> just put it out there. Like, I, I watched him against Ajax. No, he, he's a now. I don't care. I don't care. I saw. I saw the. He's a valid like reason. I saw him against Ajax and he looked scared. He was slow. Like for twenty minutes. Come on, like this guy. How is he? How is he black? You don't want to meet here on that level for someone so uncommon, man. This guy's really good. How old is he? How old is he? He only played for twenty minutes. Nineteen. Nineteen is not young. Nineteen is young. Kai Havertz played in the Bundesliga since he was seventeen. Kai Havertz started for Leverkusen since he was seventeen. What has Kai Havertz done? Kai Havertz has been playing professional. What else has Kai Havertz done in the, the Champions League? Please tell yeah, me. But, but how about Mbappe? How about Mbappe? It's no young. No, Mbappe is a prodigy. One of a kind. Yeah, yes, no, it's, it's one of a kind. Man. Come on, man. I, I could have sworn there they, they are other players that are his age playing well. No. You could, no, no, because they're there. Because what's his name? He just looked slow. And what's he called? It looked like he was scared of the ball. I don't know. No, no, no. no. I think the thing with Monsky, oh, you know, like, he's, 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 he's a pure finisher. Yes. So he's not a guy that's going to be very technical and very nice in the ball. He just has great instincts and great goal scoring instincts. So that's he his game. And for a guy this that's young to have such good goal scoring in instincts, bro man, that's that that's that's a damn job. And at the end of the day, goals win games, man. Goals win games. Yeah, but, uh, so, uh, he, he won't be a he won't be a top player. Like okay, no, he's we'll just see, an we'll average see, we'll player. We'll see, we'll see. Um all right um Manchester we'll United um they go circumcised by Everton um and we also how they how how they got embarrassed and and pillaged by um Barcelona so question is this how how many years do you think it will take before united to become relevant again in europe ali um oh my god we got we got raped today man that was not even circumcised that was rape you know what i mean okay. Flipping and if United, what do you call it? I don't know. It depends on uh, how we do this summer, you know, and how we make top four. So because, do, so do you believe in, in Oli? Do, do, do you think Solskjaer is the, is the right man to take you back to the top? Solskjaer is the right No, no, Solskjaer is the right man. We ain't got the right players. We're running around with... Listen, today if you watch the game, Everton defense would start for us. by far, All of them would have started today for us. Smalling, Ashland, they're not all good enough. Paul Pogba, first of all, is like Hazard at Chelsea. He's left by himself with dead youths, like dead youths. So when I say that, mm. the players around him are horrible. Matic, first of all, at the end of the game, said literally came out and said he is the blame. He said I was my fault the whole game. All he said, some players need a reality check, hundred percent. I think it'll take us maybe two years to be like competing for the title and stuff. But it all depends on this summer. You have to keep Pogba, you have to keep the hair, you have to keep uh, Lukaku, you have to buy players, spend good money. But if Pogba leaves and Lukaku leaves, everyone leaves four years, maybe three years. Depends. Okay. But I trust in Oli. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, Christ, how long for United to become relevant? How many years? Um, a double H at this rate, it's going to take at least eight years, man. Why? Um, uh, <laughs> let me explain why. Wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Go, go. Okay. First of all, um, double H, United have so many bad scouts, man. Like, how many players have they bought that have turned into flops? Like, haven't lived up to expectations. Like, they signed Lukaku for how much? They signed Lukaku for ninety million. They signed Pogba for one hundred twenty million. And for the prices that they've bought those players, they haven't lived up to the hype. 
and they haven't built it around the squad. So for me, um, I don't think Ole's at the wheel. In fact, I think Ole's wheels are falling off, but that's another discussion. Um, um, I think they need a better manager, and I just don't see it, man. I don't see it. They could compete for the title, but not in the Europe, man. I don't see it. I just don't see okay. it. They need to improve um, way too much, Double H. They have Ashley Young as a right back in 2019, man. Just like... All right, all right. Has him. How, how many years for United to become relevant? Look, man, I respect United. They're, they're great, great clubs, but um, the problem they have is if they continue with this management and, and Ed Woodward, I think it's going to take uh, around f- five years uh, because the, this management is really, really not, not looking well. They're investing in the wrong places. They, they're leaving gaps in the team several years in a row where that they're not filling the gaps, especially the fullbacks. They're, they're investing in way too highly in places like uh, Lukaku, 90 million, my goodness. I mean, he's a great player, but come on, 90 million, they could have spent that money much more smartly. So I'm saying you know, what United need to do is the, the key thing that's going on is at the top. United need to sell the club to uh, and replace this management to, uh, to own ownership and management that actually know what they're doing and uh, have a proper project in mind to take the team back to the top. Because currently, I don't see, uh, I don't, I don't think Ed Woodward has a project and or a plan in mind to take them to the top, and uh, I think United is really just uh, in a plateau. It's year mm-hmm. after year after year, um, underperform. Uh, maybe change for the title with Mourinho that was the highest, but then change manager again, change manager again, change manager, and it's the same thing. It's the same. It's they, they, they need to change at the top. It's clear that. Nothing else is working. They need to change at the top so that they actually start investing smartly, improving their scouting system, improving their academy, and actually having a proper sort of project. And if that happens, if the club is sold, then I would say uh, two two years. But if it continues Woodward, it will take a long time. It will take a long time. Okay. Juju Man, how many years for United to become relevant? This team, it will take at least, at least five years. First of all, Ed Woodward has a low footballing IQ. I'm not sure he knows what he's doing. And the other thing is, the, the fact that they've given uh, all the, the, uh, the job, I mean, how many, how many trophies does this guy have? I mean, do they just pick, uh, pick up guys from the street? I know he's a United <laughs> legend, but how many trophies does he has? Like, you have to be proven. You can't wait, just, wait, wait. Did you just say structures from the road? Did you just say structures is from the road? Wait, Gigi, man, did you just say Sokcha is, is from the road? Hello? Yo, Jujiman. <laughs> oh, has, has, has it disappeared? Yeah, he disappeared. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay, look, okay. Mutaha, United, how, how many years is it going to take? Ah, uh, brother, listen to me, yeah? Look, first of all, United is the second most richest club after Real Madrid. So, for them, <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Like, they need just a right management system. This is what I see. I think so. They will give a chance to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer this season. For ne- next season, I mean. You know, hmm. next whole season. He signed a three-year uh, deal. Like, come on, man. It's fine. It happened in so many times in football. Like, you know, manager signs three, four years deal and they got sacked or something like that. You know, or they leave by themselves. For money, then. Yeah. Yeah. So, doesn't matter, man. This is United, brother. This is like the second richest. So, what, what I'm trying to say is over here, they need the right philosophy to bring back to the club. Hmm. Ole has laid the foundation right now. Okay, it will take time. I know that Ole is not like the caliber of manager what Sir Alex used to be, but he at least tried. And the way they are playing right now, the the season was actually to experiment what what position they need. You know, what kind of players they need to buy this next season, in the, like in the summers. So this is what I see, bro. Look, they'll buy some two or three players. Might be in coming summers. And if Ole like like Ole like won success success like won't achieve any kind of success such as top four or you know FA Cup or something like that, he's going to be sacked. And Pochettino, Pochettino. Is so so how many years? How many years? How many years? The... Four and a half. Four and a half max. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, Red. How many years before United become relevant? No, it's it's going to take a while. I agree with everything Hazem said. I just feel the club is so poorly run. Like, they are the opposite of what Juve are. Like, when I was uh, praising Juve for how they uh, run their club and they scout talent, United are horrible at that. Like, I, I didn't even realize, why, like, I didn't get why they got went in for Fred, like, at all. And then they buy Lukaku, but they don't 
play him at all or like Martial Martial's lost I forgot that he I forget that he even exists sometimes like they don't they buy these players for no reason so yeah it's gonna take United a while like a long time like I I, I like I'd say like probably even a decade before they go back to what they were before yeah. like because I don't see any good managers available top managers available um and also, I want to say, leave Ferguson alone. Like they, they keep flying him out to these matches and bringing him to these. I don't even think he wants to be there. I swear, I think like they just take it. They just like make him just show up to calm down the fans or just for media purposes. Leave him alone. Yeah, like United are done. Uh, for now, for now. But they can't come back. They have the money. They just need to just buy properly. Uh, get a get get a proper manager. I don't think Solskjaer is the guy. Um, so yeah. That's that's my two, two Wait, cents. And, and, and uh, sorry, sorry, uh, I lost my internet. And just the one thing with United is no, no, so, is, so, 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 just very quick. So you said yeah. that Sokshes from the road. Yeah, yeah, because he's like I know he's like competing for top four, but I mean, I, I thought people had to earn their way to the top. You just don't get it like because you play for United, you just get a automatic position. And he didn't even finish the season. All the, after a few good performance. Mostly against the uh, bottom bottom side uh, teams, everyone's like, "Oh, give him!" It's like the 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 media is, is the one that's making decisions. Oh, he he must get the job now. Like, okay, he didn't like he hasn't finished an entire season. You're just giving him a job. He, he was an interim manager. No, so, no, 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 The issue is this: is that that's that team has issues and um, problems. So even if you bring in an Ancelotti, a Pochettino, yeah. what if you still have the the same issues? Because Louis van Gaal. Ain't a crap manager. Mourinho ain't a crap manager, and they couldn't get the best out of the, the team. So maybe it's not a case of like, oh, trying to hire the best manager. It's a case of try and buy the best, try and buy better players, which these yeah, guys were to have the best players. Oh, yeah, but, but, but the problem is Mourinho pointed out that these players are no good, and everyone was turning back at Mourinho and insulting Mourinho. It's like, oh, this guy doesn't know he's he's he did. He did this again with Chelsea and uh, with Man United, and you see the result. He complained, and people were like, "Oh, this is this guy is wrong." I'm 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 wondering why are they now listening to Ole? I mean, we we have, we have all known this team is no good, and and I I, I don't know why they list because like Smalling has been horrible. They, don't get me, he played well against Barcelona the first leg, but but he's he's been playing awful the last few years, and I mean, look sure he's been in and out. So I like even if you. They just they just need to start with first the I I mean the players like who are they even going to get now like can I say it, something it, it, it just take five years at least I don't know this team is just in a can I say something match. yeah go yeah. for it, go for it. Uh, I think now people uh, people should start to realize that the main that Mourinho should be given some credit for finishing second in that season because one thousand percent and winning the Europa League as well uh, yeah I think it was clear that the problem wasn't with him he actually got the best of that horrible yeah. situation that he was in it was it was spending in the wrong places wrong uh, wrong tactic wrong um, filling the wrong spots and i think he did well to finish second yeah um, and and, can I... and sorry and one point one point i don't know how Mourinho won three trophies with this team it's, i don't know how he did it he won three yeah. trophies with united I amazing amazing um yeah. ali oh, yeah. okay. ali then ali your response to that all I'm saying is, like, Mourinho spent money. So, in a way, okay, he won Europe League, he came second, but he spent money. He did not do it like, oh, like, you know what I mean? Oh, he oh, he did, okay, he spent 90 million on Pogba, he spent 75 million on Lukaku. He, the only problem I had with Mourinho, right, it wasn't even about football, it was the fact that he bought players for the sake of stopping teams. He bought Lukaku to stop Chelsea. He bought the Sanchez because mm. of adversity. He did not do it by himself. And secondly, the board... But Bobo Ali was he properly supported in the transfer market? Because w did he really receive all the targets he truly wanted? That's uh, hey, hey, you have to look at Ed, Ed Woodward. Is Ed Woodward completely? I said that Ed, Ed was completely hundred percent to blame. He is useless. Yeah. He's just there and gets money. But listen, have you realized why he's there? Marketing. United made more money in the last four or five years than they made in the last ten years before that. He's making money for the club. That's all they care about. The owners. The owners need to go. The flipping he needs to go as well. Director and new board need all of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Europa League. Well, we have two Titanic ties. So first tie, Arsenal up against Valencia. Um, I saw I, I, Arsenal lost to Crystal Palace today. Um, Valencia for me, I believe, are the favourites. So in your view, Arsenal Valencia. 
where I mean, what? How you fit into that side? Who, who, who do you think takes it, Ali? Um, listen, Arsenal lost today because they didn't play this the team their starting lineup first of all, right? And Arsenal are not clutch. I don't think Emery is a Emery is a good manager, but he doesn't. He's, he's like United. He doesn't get supported. He has no money to spend. I think they gave him forty million to spend. Valencia has been not great this season. Yes, if we've been honest, in the league they're not highly where they're supposed to be, but they're defensively been solid. So it's going to be a close game, but I think Arsenal should win it to move on to the future. Wait, so you think Arsenal can beat Valencia? Yes, they can. Arsenal can beat Valencia. They've got players to do it. They've got Aubameyang, like I said. You, got, the you remember team. that Arsenal lost to Crystal Palace. You do realise that. You do. Yes, but did you see who was playing? El Nene and stuff. Come on, man. El Nene should not be playing. It should have been Torreira to play oh, today. The team name? they played, they played Jenkinson, El Nene, Gudanzi, with the, Mar- the um, Greek kid. They played horrible players because they were resting for Valencia again for some reason. I don't understand that either myself. Yeah? But I think, like, in a way, if you look at Valencia, you're saying Valencia, Valencia, this. Valencia have been defensively solid, but they played, you know, they, we played, United played them, and they were horrible against us. Right? I think Arsenal can beat them with the attack they've got as well. Aubameyang, that speed is going to be useful in that game. Oh, okay. Christ. Um, I think... Uh, um... Valencia has a chance, but I'm going to go Arsenal uh, just because I think Unai Emery's experience in the Europa League will help them. Uh, and then for the Chelsea game, I think Chelsea. So I think it's going to be Chelsea and Arsenal in the final match. Wow. Has him. Yeah. Yeah, man. It has, it has to be. I mean, Arsenal are winning this Europa League. Um, now Emery passed the hardest hurdle, uh, which was Napoli and Napoli played horrible, but still Arsenal showed that they're really uh, capable to, to put on another gear when they need to. And uh, I think Valencia, it's, it's going to be a really tough, tough, tough match. Especially second leg is in uh, Valencia Stadium. Um, the, what's it called? I think it's going to be really tough at the Mestala because th- that's a really tough ground to go to. And in the second leg, but I still think Arsenal managed to edge it. You know, Valencia have been doing uh, up and down this season, so they could pull up a surprise, but I just don't think they'll be able to um, to be uh, Emery, who uh, this is his competition. Now that he passed the hurdle of Napoli, I think he's going to um, just go all the way. So uh, I think Arsenal is winning. For it. It's going to be really close, though, really close. I'm not sure, so you guys are, you guys are disrespecting Valencia, but okay, we will see. Oh, really close, I'm saying really close. Man. Okay, Jujiman. I, I, I'll say the same thing as everyone else. I, Arsenal should beat Valencia, even though Valencia destroyed like Villarreal. I, I, Arsenal, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised how comfortably they won against Napoli. This, this, this was, this was a tough game, but they won like three zero on aggregate. So I, th- I th- and I saw like a uh, amazing free kick. So yeah. I, 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 I still, I give the benefit of the doubt to, to I think Arsenal will, will go through. I think Arsenal will, will go through. Okay. I, it, it should be close. I don't think it will be close. I mean, it'll be Arsenal should 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 go should go through, but I don't think it will be close. They might win like one. one I mean, yeah, but I don't think it will be close. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, um, Muntaha. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, first of all, like so most of people, they are sleeping on Valencia because yeah. today they thank you, Real Batis. They have defeated Real Batis like they, oh my god, especially away. Yeah, and. Oh my goodness! Like this team is so good, man. Like Valencia, especially with Danny uh, Daniel Was. Oh my God! And Parejo, Danny Parejo. Oh my goodness! They're too good, man. There I'm go. telling you, very solid, yeah. man. These guys. Are, I don't remember last season. I remember Atletico dropped from the Champions League. Who won the Europa? Atletico. The team that always drops from the Champions League, they must always be be watched out for if they they go fast. So. Yeah, and look, man, look, man I, what I'm trying to say is, like, first of all, like, Valencia's, I won't say they're struggling this season, but in a sense, they were, they were, they are not better, like, what they used to be last season, but they're good, to be honest. And they're, they're fighting for top four spot for La Liga, like, with Catafe. And, I, I, like, it's, it's just two points difference is there. So, man, 
either either case, if they don't make it, so like they are going to get qualify for Champions. This is what I see. But I think so. They are going to mm. be in semi final, man. Nice. At least final. I can I can see this team to be finalist, man. Nice against Chelsea because they have all the weapons to you know disrupt Arsenal, man. And the second leg away, Mestaya. Oh, <laughs> it's difficult, man. Yeah, yeah. So I think so. Well, Valencia is going to win this. Red. H H, you know what's funny is this game is is like for Europa League, it's match made in heaven for both Val- like because Valencia and Arsenal are both equivalent. I like I I rate them at the same level in both their yeah. leagues, where they're always from like that fifth fifth to third spot. They're always going to be consistently in that area. Like, um, and I think it's going to be a really good matchup. The second leg's at the Mestalla, right? Yes. Yep. That that's huge. That yeah, is huge because like Arsenal have a ton of quality in attack. Like Z has been in insane form. Like this, like regardless of the loss today, he was he's been in insane form uh, this past couple of games. So he's going to be key. But I think that way that way leg in the Messiah is what seals it. I think I think they're gonna. Uh, mm. I, think, uh, I think Valencia will, will edge Arsenal. Nice. It's going to be very yeah. close. I wouldn't be surprised if Arsenal beat them, but it's it, it's very it's very. One second. Let me just think about this for one quick second. It's tough. It's really tough. Yeah. My goodness. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say it's going to be a two-two, and away goals is going to play the, a factor. And wait, 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 wait. two-two in the away leg or <laughs> uh, two-two in the away leg. So for Valencia, Valencia, because HH, the only issue with Valencia is they they don't they like they're, if you look at their team they don't really score that many goals but it's so hard to score against them these they Barca drew against them Madrid lost to them um mm. like they're a very hard team to beat especially at the Mestalla like the Mestalla like is a bar- like it's a bar- uh, it's a graveyard for a lot of teams like that's where your yeah, season yeah. dies like it Madrid is. usually when we go there that's when we drop points at the Mestalla Great and Barca usually edge us there and they win the league uh, these yeah. basketball seasons then um, red huh? so, Red, how Sorry, did right. how did how did Valencia then lose to United? How did this team? No, lose? Because, uh, no, no, they started they slow because they've improved they was... this season. They've improved. They, I mean, because uh, they were uh, trash yeah. in the Champions League. Hey, 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 yeah. Can I say, no, can, no, can no, I say no, something no, on that? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Red then, Montar. Red. Uh, Juju, uh, Marcelino just uh, recently was appointed as uh, it, it, this is the first season with Valencia, so yeah. they were adapting to a new system. Um, and you could see in the pa- in their past, I believe, twenty games, they only lost once. Oh, and that was like two weeks ago, but they and that included Barca, Madrid, uh, and they went from like the relegation zone. They're now up to they're two points off top four. Only Hatafe is ahead of them. Like they 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 have like thirteen wins, but they have like sixteen draws. Like they are so yeah. hard to beat. Like they're they're yeah. a tough tough team. Parejo is solid. Garay is solid. Rodrigo, uh, he he'll pop up with a goal. Gamero pop up with a goal. Um, um, like they have, Gabriel, they are, like, yeah, Gabriel on defense. Yeah. No, they've, they've been a solid side, so I think I think they might edge it. Just, just it, <laughs> it just depends on if Arsenal, look if Arsenal show up and they, they like they can blitz them and they could like put three or four. Valencia are not a high scoring team, so Arsenal could could pull the job off. I just feel like Valencia won't yeah. let them score that. Okay, nice. I'm on time. Uh, hey, you, hey, you. First of all, yeah, like uh, the like Juju man, my brother said that like you know they struggled and the way they performed, they flop in Champions League. Yeah, I agree, but it was a pressure after 2002, three something like that. They came to Champions League, they qualified for Champions League. It's it's huge, man. Like come on, man. And they came back and the way Gabriel Paulista and Gary like they have like defensive partnership is like come on, man. It's uh, I uh, man. Look, I respect Aubameyang the way Lacazette plays as yeah. well. But these guys are like really tough, robust defenders, man, yeah. uh, and they're really good at the building from the back as well. Munta. So, yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, that's all it. I'm saying is right. Um, it's, I understand Valencia defensively, as I said, been amazing this year. But it'd be embarrassing for Arsenal to sell Coquelin and Palista and lose to them. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> they sold them and told them you you are not good enough, and then they get beat by them. Bro, bro, Come bro, on, bro, bro, bro. Bro, they have one of the World Cup heroes, Danny Cherishov. Yeah, yeah okay. no, no, Cherishov. Plus, I, I, I'm just, yeah. You know what shocked me? The fact that Arsenal just walked over Napoli. Like, he, yeah. if it was an easy game for them, I was no, like, no, 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 Will 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 Zad deliver Frankfurt, or is it is this where the dream ends? Ali, what what happens against um, Frankfurt? Bruh, that's not even a question. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I I think Frankfurt are fourth in Bundesliga. They're like ten points behind third or something like, and they're a good team. I don't even think they should have came to the head of Benfica, right? But it's a good team, right? It's a good close game. 
Hazard is going to annihilate them. I don't even think Hazard is going to even need to do anything. Pedro is going to annihilate them. That's all I'm saying. Should be an easy win for Chelsea. Uh-oh. I don't mean to be rude. They can, anything can happen, but like it should be easy win for Chelsea. They've got the better players. They've got everything. Just watch out for Jovic because Rudiger and David Lewis are donkeys. Okay? Just watch out for Jovic and it should be a comfortable win for Chelsea. All right. Christ. Um, I think this is going to be a close game. Uh, I think Chelsea should watch out for Frankfurt's like high pressure and counterattacks because their defense isn't the best. Um, um, but I think Chelsea having Hazard will be enough to get them through. But I wouldn't be surprised if Frankfurt win. But I, I think I, I'm going to go Chelsea. All right, on Hazard. Um, I'm, it's going to have to be Chelsea, but uh, Frankfurt, they are g- doing really well this season. And uh, Jovic has been unbelievable. Um, he, he, he's going to be definitely a constant threat. But uh, from what I watched, uh, especially in the first leg against Inter, um, Frankfurt were poor. They were, they were really uh, losing many, uh, many mispasses, losing many balls, not able to take the game into their own hands. And uh, I think that's going to cost them. I think Ch- uh, Chelsea, especially with, uh, with Hazard, I think Hazard's going to make them pay for those mistakes. And defensively, they're shaky, unfortunately. So uh, I think even though the um, attacking-wise, they, they, they create a lot of chances. But I think uh, Hazard, Hazard and, uh, in general, Ch- Chelsea taking this Europa League um, more seriously than people think is uh, going to be too much for them. And also the um, se- second leg is in Stamford Bridge. So uh, I, I don't think Chelsea will uh, just drop it. Mm. Uh, I think... I think they're going to show up and uh, at least make the final in this Europa League. But I think they'll make the final and uh, lose in the final. Damn. That's harsh. Um, Jujiman. Uh, th- this is an easy game for Chelsea. I, I don't want to sound... Like... Man. Don't, 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 don't sense fits, man. Don't, don't. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sound like an EPL fanboy, but, <laughs> but what's it called? It's called... Uh, it's, I mean, I mean, Chelsea... Chelsea I've seen Chelsea uh, this season and... Uh, at times when Chelsea are up for it, it's they can make it. I mean, they can be. I mean, they've gone toe to toe with Liverpool and and what's it called? They've gone toe to toe with Liverpool and Man City. So I, 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 if I was to put my money, I'll put my money on Chelsea. And with Frankfurt, I mean, I think they conceded how many goals against Benfica? Four or it's too much goals to concede okay. for. I know that, you know, but but they came back. They came back. True, but it's like. Is that is that credit to? But but you, you can blame Benfica for for allowing that. But it's like Chelsea won't they, they won't come back. Like considering those amount of goals, I mean, tells me their the, 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 their defense is not that good. So I'm I'm expecting Chelsea. This should be an easy game for Chelsea. So if Chelsea plus plus the, the fact that it has to like they're not guaranteed top four. So this if they get to the final, this can be another way to Champions League for Chelsea. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, Munsaha. Uh, I hate you, Shaman. Before coming to Madrid, has it have to deliver this trophy for Chelsea? Yeah, that's that's a huge assumption. Oh. Yeah, and this uh, this guy will deliver for sure. Like second Europa League in his career for Chelsea, and this is what I see, bro. Look, man, Eintracht Frankfurt, man, they are good at home. They're a good side. Like you know, even they came back against Benfica. Mm. Still, like I'll consider Benfica as a bunch of uh, what do you call? I won't say uh, bottlers. They're clown. Like, come on, man! You score four goals. I know you can say two goals uh, at home, but this Antrak Frankfurt, especially Rabich and Rovich, mm. these guys Rubbish, are like, dangerous. Yeah. Apparently, Rabich yeah. is going to be miss missing for the first leg. Apparently, I think I think Ooh, that's a big miss then. Big, big miss, big miss. Big, because uh, Frankfurt at home, they're tough side. Do you guys because remember Rabich in the World Cup? Yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, oh man, come on. I think so. So, 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 Chelsea, I feel like Chelsea will uh, like over two legs they'll make it through, and I feel like it's gonna be a it's gonna be easy for them too. I don't think Frankfurt's gonna put up much of a much of a fight. I think it, it might be like a three one, a four one. Uh, it, it's just you guys like Chelsea has has too much quality. Uh, they, they like if it just Hazard alone. I think is gonna give them a, a very hard time. Uh, you have Cam Hudson Odoi is coming into it. like he's he's been in good form. Uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek, of course, still Conte. I, like the quality players that Chelsea have will make the difference. Um, I think three one, three one. It will be the scoreline over two legs. I think in the first leg might end like 
two one for Chelsea, and then the, the like uh, the second leg is in Germany, right? No, no, just no first leg is Germany. First, first leg is Germany. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, one nil and uh, one nil and a two one. That's okay. what it's going to be. So, oh, right. so let's just round this off because this is we we will really be pushing it. So both champs. So we now Tottenham against um, Ajax, Barcelona against Liverpool. All I want is what is the final going to be? <laughs> Ali, what, what is the Champions League final 2019 going to be? Um, my heart wants it to be Ajax. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be a heart to your heart. <laughs> but my brain, sure. I think, is going to be Spurs against Liverpool. What? Oh, my God. You are sleeping on our Spurs, man. It didn't be City oh for no reason. Ajax has been amazing. Ajax has been amazing, but oh most people are sports. All English final in the Europa League and Champions League. I'm telling you. Oh, like, look, again, I love the Premier League and everything. I it's not want... about love. It's not even about love, right? I, first of all, I don't I want to it. in the like Champions League I... and Europa League. It has to be one league nah, against the Premier League. I don't want an nah, all English thing, no. It's not going to be. It's, not, it's like... The fact is, sports are made to beat teams like Ajax, City and them, you know what I mean? With mm. their defense, counter-attack and football. I know Song is missing. That's going to be the only problem. So Ajax can win the first leg. But City, Liverpool, Parsa, especially that game, I think Liverpool are the most, of the whole Europe, the most comfortable team to be Barca. Because they've got that energy midfield, as Monta was talking about, and that attack... It's a tough matchup for Barca, man. So it's a tough matchup, yeah. It's a tough matchup. But it's all about... It's, as Messi turns up, Barca will win. But That's if Messi, doesn't, if Ma- if Messi plays like my United game... Messi and the Us. Messi and the Us. If Messi plays like he played against United, Liverpool will win easily, comfortably as well, actually. Not even oh, easy, comfortably. Piquet will be key as well. PK will be very key. PK will be very oh, key. Yeah. But PK, PK, PK is not fighting against Rashford or Lukaku, bro. He's fighting against Salah and Mane. <laughs> Big difference. All right. right. No, 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 no. Put some respect on Lukaku's name, man. All I right. love Lukaku, but he doesn't, he doesn't get service. Yeah, I know. He's a, Okay, okay, um, Christ, um, what's the count? Um, honestly, man, I would pick Tottenham in the first game, but since Son's not playing the first leg, I think there's no chance that Tottenham win. Yeah. So I, I have Ajax. Um, and then for the Barcelona Liverpool game, uh, I could see it going either way, but I see Barcelona just edging it because of the messy fact. Uh, look, let me so I think Barcelona be- Ajax would be, I think that would be the the most entertaining final. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Both historically and playing style. Oh, yeah, for sure. It would be an amazing final, but I don't think we're going to get that. So, so you're saying Barcelona Ajax, Christ? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Pick, man. Hasn't. What's the final going to be? Yeah, so initially I said Juventus Barca. Obviously, Juventus balled it earlier than I expected. Mm. So, um, I'm going to go with uh, sticking with Barcelona to win it. So, and Barcelona and Ajax in the final. That's going to be a great <laughs> final. Great final. Great final. Already looking yeah. forward to it. Jujiman, what's the final going to be? Uh, I, I, I say it's part in the round of 16, but I changed that. Like, uh, what's it called? I, I'm going with the, I, I mean, I'm going with the Ajax to win. I can't believe I'm saying this, but prospect, <laughs> wow. prospect might be in the final. They might be in the final. And then, <laughs> no, 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 Let's rewind back like about a month or so ago. <laughs> Remember, you came up with the name prospects. That's you. You came up with the name. <laughs> You said that they were friendly. You insulted them. You called them a bunch of fetus. You called them guys losers. <laughs> How things have changed. So, I actually played in the final. Exactly. Who are they playing in the final? Oh, man. I'm sure. Because what's it called? I think they, they should play Liverpool. They, should, they the Barcelona. Oh, could, but the one problem. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just say what I said. If Barcelona are not losing a final. So, if you yeah, say Ajax yeah. win, it has to be Liverpool that they play. Barcelona are not losing a final. So. Oh, oh, yeah, but, but what's it called? The one thing with Barcelona is. They faced hard teams. It's not like they've been facing easy teams. So I'm, I'm like that Liverpool game. I don't think it'll be. I think that will be the closest game ever. I think it might end controversially that game, where it's like yeah. a VAR or a split decision or an away goal, because mm. both teams have faced uh, like they've been through hard paths. So that that will be the that's the final. Correct. Yeah, that would be the that, that's the game. I, I don't know. It, this might end really bad for someone. And the only reason the only reason I say Liverpool is. I don't see, like, I don't know if Liverpool cannot go trophyless this season. After all this work, I don't know how this club they, is going to recover. They better not go trophyless this season Cause, right, right now. Because it's like, because every, every Liverpool fan is betting on United on Wednesday. If that doesn't happen, 
two games two games it looks like city will wrap up the league and with with the game against barcelona i mean yeah. if barcelona wins then it, oh my oh my like uh, they don't they're not getting anything <laughs> they're not getting anything okay so it's so in liverpool. And, and um liverpool uh, yeah but i'm saying ajax liverpool and I'll just say switch to uh, Liverpool uh, are winning the Champions League. They just they just have to. Just have to. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right. Look, man. Zaha. Hey, 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 look, I told you before as well, man. Legacy is online, bro. Legacy. It's <laughs> like about... Like in the CV, there is no... Like without Xavi and Iniesta, there is no Champions League. For that guy, mm. the guy's like after after watching us winning three times in a row, he's like boiling inside. He's boiling in his grave, bro. <laughs> so oh man, this guy, man, this guy. Oh, no, no, no. And, and look, look. I mean, because remember, if Messi does this, that's a treble of trebles, wow. which is frightening. Wow. Which is frightening. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's what. Like to be honest, like that's a kind of. Uh, an means how to what the final going to be? Who is going to be in this bloody final? Please. No. Bro, it's going to be Barcelona versus Ajax for me. Yes. Yeah, man. Yes. Yes. Barcelona versus Ajax, man. I, I, I cannot. I, man, come on, man. I cannot run from the reality, bro. Classic. Like at the end of the day, this is reality. <laughs> we, are, we are living in so, 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 the so, real so, world. So, so you don't think you have no respect for Van Dijk, the best defender in the world? Egyptian icon. Egyptian icon. Bro, 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 look, look, Egyptian icon. Bro, 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 look, look. I respect them. They're good. They're great side. Yeah, the elite team, European elite team. Mm. But bro, to score like. This is what I see. Even if like they're scoring one G is not enough. The second leg is at Anfield. Out. They've never no, lost at Anfield. The second leg is at Anfield. Look, uh, okay, hey, if I give you this kind of situation, yeah, two one Barcelona is winning, and second leg one all at Anfield. Can I say something? Uh, look, 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 look! I'll just, I'll just tell you. People keep on forgetting that the way Valverde played. Yeah, look, man, Barcelona. Okay, in a sense, they want like the way they played against us at Real Madrid at Bernabeu, even in Camp Nou. They were, they were not a better side, but they were so yeah. pragmatic. They were like defending deep, bro, because of Valverde. Yeah. And this Wait, season, and can I say something? Can I say something? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, uh, if Salah wins the Champions League and is crucial in it, I want every single person to be on this hangout. The day after, I just, no, I just no, 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 I'll, I'll give his crowd. Give and, and, and the other thing, and the other thing, has Barcelona ever lost to an English side in the last like 10 years? Have they lost to an English hey, side? Hey, 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 one more fact, yeah, one more fact. Hey, 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 one more fact, yeah, one fact I'm giving you. Okay. Messi has scored zero goals, zero goals against uh, Liverpool in competitive match. <sighs> <laughs> okay, 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 wait, let's, let's begin right. Because red, what's what is the final that you, that that you see happening? Oh my god, well, you guys, you guys, look, look, you guys, just, if if Juju does exist, H H, you guys just gift wrapped it to Liverpool. You just gift wrapped it. One saying that they've never lost to Anfield. They, they've lost to Anfield now. Like we just jinxed it. They're gonna lose to Anfield. And Messi never scored against Liverpool. Oh my god, he's gonna score a hat trick right now. Like, <laughs> It's like, look, Madrid fans, it's over, guys. It's over. We have to put invest in Valencia, beating them in the Copa del Rey. <laughs> so, 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 Red, what's the final going to be? Red, what's the final going to be? Oh, it's 80. Okay, so look, uh, first of all, for the Ajax Spurs game, let me be serious. For the Ajax Spurs game, um, as far as unfortunately they're out because the first leg is in Amsterdam Stadium, so they're going to need the away. Yeah. No, 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 no. First leg is at Tottenham Stadium. No, no, I'm pretty sure it's Amsterdam. Right, let me no, 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 no. Home Stadium. Okay, if it's at Tottenham Stadium, that's that's perfect. They can keep a clean because they just have to get a clean sheet at that point and like uh, limit Ajax's away goals because then they'll have Sun back in the second leg because he's Ooh. missing the first leg. Yeah. Because they, they need that away goal if they want to get past Ajax. So if if the first leg is at Spurs Stadium, there's a chance I'll edge Spurs to go over Ajax, even though I think Ajax played better football. Uh, but uh, Spurs isn't as slow as uh, as uh, as Juve and they're not as sloppy as Madrid. So I feel like I, I feel like they're a bit Ooh. more of a complete team this season. Uh, than both those respective teams. So, um, I, I, and that, and I actually can't score against them. Like they've they've conceded four in their past four last four games. So, they, or actually no five five actually. I mean, I mean, basically for for me, like the way I am viewing it right now is, I just feel that Son missing the first leg. I think is going to be huge. I think that Tottenham yeah. are pretty. Uh, see Tottenham. I think will be no a lot son, more okay, solid. Okay. No son, okay. They're left with Loriente, and he's a brick. We know no, that. No, 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 no. But my thing is that I just think that for Ajax, this is a come on second leg at Amsterdam in front of your own fans. A basically semi-final, Champions League semi-final, second leg, 
all you have to do is pretty much do this in front of your fans to get into the final. I think that's going to be huge for Ajax. So I just think that's... I, I, Hello? The thing about Liverpool is this. That second leg being at Anfield is crucial. Oh, okay. I didn't get to the Barca-Liverpool game. Uh, for that one, I also wanted to say, uh, look, only Liverpool can beat Barca. Like, the, in the whole competition, yeah. like... Uh, the only team like Bar uh, like if Barcelona if can Barcelona beats Bayern, Liverpool, it's it's over. If Barcelona beats Liverpool, it, it, it's yeah, around. exactly. Yeah. Whoever because yeah. whoever wins from Barca Liverpool, I feel is going to win the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, unless it's Spurs Liverpool final, because that could be that could be a tense game. It could, it could be like a 50 50 But if it's like about, if it's Barca Spurs, Ajax, right? if Barca Spurs or Barca Ajax, I feel like Barca would beat both those teams. Ajax, they already, Ajax, they, they, they'll beat Ajax because they already own half the team. Like the young and they're like pretty much Barca players. Oh, yeah. they're, like, true, 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 true. They're gonna and bend what, over a change. Like, you, you know what? You know what's funny about this game, the Liverpool Barcelona. It's like two or nine Chelsea against. Uh, it's been ten years since the Chelsea Barcelona game. Oh, so true. I think it's just funny. Like it's been ten oh, years wow. since that game. Nope. And, yeah. and both, bro, both bro. of them, like, hey, hey, the hey, 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 Chelsea and Liverpool, how they hey, have hey, like, a quality hey, manager hey, that hey, has been under, like built a fortress at their home stadium, hmm. yeah. Sanford Bridge and hey, hey, Anfield. Hey, 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 bro, it would happen like in this ma this fashion as well, bro. Back in 2008 semi final, United versus Barcelona, 1 0, United won. Yeah, this will be like remember. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. My, my, my thing is that, look, if Messi really turns up. I don't know how he, 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 can, he can be stopped, but I believe that for Klopp and Liverpool, like especially if he, he employs the Brexit midfield, I think the key thing is they're going to try and stop Messi. Because if you stop Messi and you take him out of the game, you pretty much stifle... Hatred, hatred, hatred. Hatred, hatred. Let's be real. Guys, let, let's be real. Barcelona are not going to beat Liverpool like 5-0 in the, in, the, in the first leg. I think they'll win the first leg, but I'm, I'm looking at maybe like it's soon. Liverpool just need that's a way good. But Liverpool at Anfield... Semi-final, second leg, you just need to... Same thing with Ajax. At your own home ground. All you need to do is just close this up. And if there's not a... Because I told you, without the refereeing decision, Chelsea would have been in that final. Everyone knows that. Without the refereeing decision, they would have been in that, in that final against... Hey, you, hey, hey, say one more thing. Hey, 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 one more thing. Like, yeah, I, I, I just want to say one thing. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. I just want to say one thing. Jordi Alba, the way he like you know flow and goes forward for the attacking way, I mm. think that this this is a great game for Mohamed Salah to at least score a goal. Okay. Oh, wait. Can I say oh yeah, no, he can have space, that's, and especially at the Camp Nou because that's a big pitch. So it's a big pitch yeah. with a front three who go wide. Can I yeah? Can I say something? He hasn't go. I think this is where Van Dijk stands on trial. Van Dijk stands on trial whether he is really the best yes. defender in the for world. Sure. One thousand percent can be spoken of as such highly as Liverpool fans. He stands on trial. That's what I'm saying. Oh no, no, I, I, no, no, I mean, but basically for me, like, which is why I say to Liverpool fans, like, I don't give a damn about Van Dijk defending against guys in in the, in the Premier League. That's yeah, irrelevant exactly. for me. Yeah. Now you're up against the yeah. Us, the Cannibal, and Messi. Nobody in the Premier League is even close to the technical ability of that front three. Yeah. So if Van Dijk can hold these guys and really defend these guys, then boom, you're number one. So <laughs> Liverpool fans. Van Dijk ain't number one because of what he does in Premier League. He will be the undefeated number one if this guy is a rock and stifles that front three. Yeah. Then... And, uh, and, 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 and the one, the one, the one thing about the, Liverpool... Wait, 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 okay, okay. wait, wait. Jujiman then Muntaha, Jujiman. Yeah, and the one thing about Liverpool everyone forgets too is uh, Sadio Mane. I, I'm not sure Barcelona can stop Sadio Mane because Sadio Mane, Sadio Mane, is, I mean, he showed up against Madrid, Bayern Munich. This guy... When when they like when the pressure is on and like everyone is down, Sadio Mane is the guy that lifts up the team. So the fact that Sadio Mane is playing, I, I, Sadio, I expect Sadio Mane to have an impact in that game. I think he, out of all, all the Liverpool players, all the front three, I think Sadio Mane is is the most dangerous. Is the most dangerous player okay. for, for Liverpool. All right, Munza. Hey, just man, look what I see. Yeah, like people are saying Sadio Mane is Salah. This is what I see. I think so. Uh, Roberto Firmino will play the crucial thing because if if you just you know stay glue with Sergio Busquets, don't allow him to you know like this is what I see. Man, Arthur is a great, great player, man. I'm not denying that. But the way Busquets go for the vertical balls, like it's you, look, man, what happened against United? First, like same thing, Busquets. If like you know, this is what I see. If you foul Busquets on like in the Barcelona defense, you know, on, on the top of the field, don't allow him to get into the game, man. This is what I yeah. see. Liverpool have a chance. 
And so no, no, no. And I, I, I think basically, if Liverpool, but think about because it's all about how Liverpool can be aggressive and really attack. If Barcelona are on their game, and the spe specific thing, if Messi has a great game, it's a wrap. Yeah. Like there is, Bro, then there's wait, the only way that Liverpool, H -H -H -H. For, forget about what Liverpool's front we can do. If Liverpool allow Messi to be Messi, Liverpool can score as many goals as they want. Barcelona will blitz it because remember, you're you're dealing with a creative genius, a goal scoring genius, and a guy who can run past four or five guys. So forget about Liverpool. The first thing Liverpool have to concentrate is how do we take Messi out of the game before about attacking and what we do. How do you take Messi? Because if you allow Messi, if you just do, we attack, you attack, we attack, you attack, and you allow, give Messi space, and you don't have a defensive plan for Messi, and Messi can create and pass whatever he wants, then, it's then, then hey, 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 I just want to say one thing, yeah, man. Look, man, I don't understand. Like, I, I can't see, you know, sport, uh, what do you call, uh, Liverpool is going to play a high pressing game at the, from the start of, like, from the first minute, man. They have to sit deep, bro. Come on. They have to. No, yeah. no. Munta, 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 Munta. You're giving so many space to Messi. No, the last, in, last team that did that, bar, that last team that did that, Munta, ha, eight, bro, six. Bro, 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 and the one thing is, if, if Barcelona have to score fast, because if they score, yeah. if 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 Liverpool, I mean, if Liverpool score fast, then Barca have to chase well, the game. That opens well, up. Well, okay, 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 opens okay, up. Okay, let me ask you guys then: Do you think Liverpool gets an away goal or two away goals, or do you think That's Barcelona them quite at the new new camp? That's the key. I'm saying they're no. Getting, I'm saying no. Barcelona is going to keep the clean sheet, and that's going to be key in Camp Nou. They have to. If the way goal Liverpool get, that's but, it. But Barca, Barca can't. Barca, they don't have that choice. Yeah. They don't have they're the defensive gonna, powers gonna to be able to shut people out. Road. Like, Barca can outscore yeah. you 100%. They will outscore them. They can like, no, no. So, for me, like, Liverpool no. are getting at least one away goal. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the, because the one thing is, what is it called? Uh, based on people say that uh, PSG were dominant and Liverpool were able to get an, an away goal. I'm, I'm expecting, and people are saying Barca were less dominant. I mean, I'm expecting Liverpool to score at least one goal. At, at least yeah, one goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All they have to do, all the all Bars have to do in the first leg is make sure the fullbacks. Hatred, 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 hatred. What what if the score line is four two for the first leg? Barcelona win four two. Oh, that's so that's, 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 that's that's really bad. That's two away goals, which means that because look, see, that's what it, this is such a weird game because I believe that that pitch. And Barcelona, way Barcelona play is telling me for Liverpool to get away goals. Liverpool does not have to win the game. All they have to do is get away goals. The thing about the second leg at Anfield, Liverpool are very strong. But let's let's just be real right now. Man City do play very similar to Barcelona, and let's just be real. Man City dominated that game at Anfield, and if Mares had scored that penalty, they would have beaten Liverpool. Probably. But, and yeah. City totally dominated that game at Anfield. It was a pretty boring game, but City dominated the game. So, Barcelona can easily go to Anfield and dominate per possession. And they've got a Messi in there. So, my thing about it is that I, I know Liverpool are very strong at, at Anfield and they've had a, a, great, a great record. They've not played anybody to the standard of that front three. And um, Anfield. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I'm going to go to Ali first and once. Okay, Ali. Hey, this is the this is the thing that Barcelona have uh, Jordi Alba and Sergio Roberto as uh, what do you call it? Uh, as you as you were saying, Mane is going to annihilate that right side first of all. Okay, yeah. not even a question, not even a doubt. So the and the problem is Barcelona are playing against Sadio Mane, Firmino, and uh, Salah. Even though they're amazing attackively, their work rate is so good. Firmino will not give PK a rest. He'll follow him everywhere. No, 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 but, but then for Ali, my response to that is that that is why because we came to the attackers, PK and Van Dijk are going to be very crucial. Yeah. PK in the sense of his reading of the game will have to be impeccable. Because yes. it's a, but can he position himself in those areas to know where those balls are coming from Firmino and Mane? And for, for Van Dijk, Messi. Okay. Wait, also for you know, as well, Bobo from Van Dyke, 
Messi, because mm -hmm. Messi is coming straight for your for, mm -hmm. for you. It's coming straight for your for your throat. So let's see if you're the best defender in the world. Because hey, if H. you're the best, do it against the best. No, not against high Premier League boys, please. Last question, HH. Right. Yeah. See, and as as we all know, Arnold and Robertson attack. Yes. Yep. Exactly. Yes. Is Messi and Osman Dembele going to attack back? No shit. No, they won't. They won't. And Messi they, will not attack back. That's why the yeah, exactly. And they no, and, and the other thing, to add on that, the other thing, you remember the Messi diagonal ball to Alaba, that's crucial. Yeah. He yeah. won't be able to do that when Arnold, yeah. like if, if he true, runs all the true. way there and Arnold like has the space in, what's yeah. his name? Salah, they, they probably will put Salah, they'll do the same they did against Madrid where yeah. they put Salah on the right side Alaba is not going anywhere. He'll no, yeah. but, he'll, but he'll Juju, stay to that side. He'll not go Juju, anywhere. I've noticed, I've that's, noticed, what they, that's what they did with Madrid. <laughs> no, but they, they they've diversified the way they attack. Like Barca, the thing is the way, the way they get most of their goals. Like they'll yeah. say, they'll they'll sort of like uh, put the pressure on you to put you in your own box, and then they'll do yeah. one two plays. And they're so like Messi's so comfortable. Like, Messi will just cross the ball in the box, like you saw against like, yeah. the first goal. No, 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 no. But, like, they, they just... but red, that's my issue though. CCC so, so, so red, because again, I was I was watching the game against Real Sociedad, man. I was just watching it very carefully, and I was like. A pretty much 80 or 85 percent of the creativity comes from Messi. So, yeah, which is why for Liverpool, if you're Klopp, you're like the first thing you do. Forget about anything else. The first thing you do is how do we? You can't fully stop him. That's not gonna happen because people say because because people say oh stop the supply to Messi. Messi picks the ball up from central midfield. He will always get the ball to feet. So the thing for Liverpool is. Push him back as far away from the final third as as possible, and force him to collect the ball as deep. Because the further away he is from your goal, the less damage that he, he can do. And that's going to be your main. Because again, if Messi is given space in the last third and is allowed to look at you face to face, he will beat you one on one. So you've got to be tight on him fully. So, but my thing about it is that. Like a lot of bad, remember, like a lot of guys have been saying Liverpool are favorites, they can now knock them out and everything. But wait, 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 what's what's our buzz? I'm here, I'm in a buzzing. Um Barcelona, man, look, Messi took the mic at the beginning of the season. And he said specifically, the aim that I want is to win this Champions League. The what I want is to bring back this crown. So, and the weird thing about it is this is that. Because again, I was, I was speaking to even some Liverpool fans. Some Liverpool fans, I believe, actually, some of them want the Premier League more than the Champions League. That is insane. That's crazy. Like, even if like you haven't won the um, Premier League ever, I'm sorry, I respect the Premier League. It is a, the Premier League is nothing compared to the Champions League. Oh, nothing. Thank you, Adrian. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. So, oh, thank you. Bro. So, so anybody, see, because again, what I don't like is there is a there's there's a sort of arrogant view between people who view the Premier League because it makes the most money, it's the most advertised. People now think that it's now the premier competition. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. chill. Which is why I'm sorry, people. What Real Madrid did, we have to talk about that. Because people's because people's arguments are oh because Real Madrid won three Champions League in a row therefore it, it, it therefore can't be that elite. But I'm like wait a minute, how about we view it the other way that that is an incredible achievement that we've not that hasn't really fully sunk in what Real Madrid actually managed to, to do because before then nobody had ever defended the title. How many teams have won the league three times in a row? We are uh, looking for it ten times in a row. So, so what Real Madrid did was unprecedented. And I don't think in my lifetime I'll ever see a team win the Champions League three times in a row. I don't think that'll ever happen. Because it's the elite competition. So that is why for Liverpool, in my view, the Premier League, I just think, may have already been gone. But I think City are going to clean up the rest of their games. But Liverpool don't believe that they can win it. The aim for Liverpool is... This Champions League is an amazing opportunity to win this flipping trophy because last time they won it was in 2005, and I and, and I believe that they 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 stole that trophy because it doesn't make any sense how a team is 3 0. Hatred, hatred, hatred. Uh, can, can I give you yeah. a hypothetical case, please? Over here, what if what if in a city, yeah, they drop two points against United, just hypothetically, yeah. yeah. So, in a sense, there's a bright chance of Liverpool winning the Premier League because of their one point or two points ahead, sorry, mm. yeah. 
So what if they'll throw this game? They don't care. They want to win the Premier League. Then, if that happens on 24th. Okay, can, can I respond? Can I respond to that? Yeah, if, if they throw this champion... If Liverpool don't pretty much throw away a game against Barcelona, a Champions League semi-final, a marquee game to win the Premier League, then I'm sorry, that's, that's a, that is a loser's mentality. That's a loser's mentality. Because yes, you should be greedy. Liverpool should aim to win the Premier League and the Champions League. So they should go for the Premier League and look for the Champions League. But if I was that player and it's me, of course my focus would be on the Champions League. I don't want the Premier League, but if it's to choose me, to choose between the Premier League and the Champions League, of course the bloody Champions League. It's what kid dreams of winning the Premier League? What kid dreams of winning La Liga? Every child dreams of winning the bloody Champions League. Can I just <laughs> say one thing? Yeah. Yeah. The, like you. the Champions League in its modern format, yeah, there hasn't been. But before in the European Cup, there has been several teams like Madrid won a five in a row. Ajax. Oh, yeah. oh no, no, no! I was all about Champions League in its present oh, okay. form. Yeah, yeah. yeah then in right. his, in the, which I think it was in ninety-two, ninety-two. It was in its present format. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like so. That is why, like, in my view, you see, that's that's the thing is that guys don't assume because everybody's saying whoever comes. Whoever wins the Liverpool Barcelona game will win that. In a final, anything can happen. <laughs> in a final, any and we have seen such a crazy Champions League already. Who thought Ajax would beat Real Madrid? Who thought Ajax would beat Juventus? <laughs> so, if Ajax Tottenham <laughs> gets that final, who knows? No, it's not happening. Double. Yes, I not letting us on that. It's not happening. Can you imagine Tottenham winning a Champions League final? I do. I, I, I would be lost. <laughs> How can you even explain that? League? What if it happens? Juju, what if Tottenham are hot sport? What if <laughs> then the Tom, what if Hugo Lloris? Imagine if Hugo Lloris lifts up a World Cup and a Champions League. You're empty. <laughs> I was speechless. Like you can't even explain it. Like. This, you can't say like how. What are you even going it's to so say? Cool. <laughs> how are you going oh, wow. to explain this? Like, it's just they somehow won it. I don't know how. No, 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 but for me, I think I know. Look, Ajax have got to see. In my view, based on n- no sun in the first leg, no kin. Oh yeah. Ajax have Ajax are favorites. Oh yeah. yeah. And the worst thing to remember, yeah, they are. this, this yeah. is probably yeah, the yeah. first time, based on how well Ajax did against Real Madrid and the events that they're actually favorites in a game. So how will they handle that? Yeah. They've been able to handle being underdogs very well. Now, how do you handle yeah, where you are expected to beat Tottenham because you're 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 the favorites? Based on how well you've played, you don't have the injuries that, that they have. You're expected to do that. So does that work against them? No, no. I, 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 I think I think I actually are gonna go in with the mindset that they're the underdogs. They're gonna think no, 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 no. Has impossible, impossible. Because no, no, I'm, I'm saying they're gonna tell themselves that. Mm. They're gonna say, okay, this Tottenham team are older, more experienced. They, they they beat a great city team. We're still the underdog. We're the surprise of this tournament. We're the, they have to tell them that because they have to keep in their humble state so they just play their game. H H, can I ask you one cool question? H. Yeah, go for it. So, what would happen to Wenger's legacy if Poch wins this Champions League? Um, How will we be? We had him in in what sense? Like because think about like because of the North London, London rivalry, mm. you know the, the North London derby. So I'm looking at it from like a Spurs versus Arsenal fans. <laughs> so they have Pochettino as their pretty much. Uh, he would be if he wins the Champions League, their greatest ever. Oh, 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 I know, yeah, no. If Pochettino leads Tottenham to the Champions League, I think that invincible record gets diminished. Yep. Ooh, yeah, I agree. I like, yeah, like, if 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 Pochettino leads these guys to a Champions League win, I think that trumps everything that has happened between Tottenham and Arsenal. It's it, the Champions it, League. Uh, yeah. H. It's, 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 it's the big one. It's, it's, it's the big one. So, uh, it, so yeah, yeah, Christ, go Christ, yeah. Uh, um, I was going to ask, man, I'm going to say, do you fear like, um, if we get the winner of the Liverpool Barca game in the final, um, that the winner of the Ajax Tottenham game is just gonna bend over in the final completely, and we'll have like a horrible final. Yeah. Like, do you see that happening? No, 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 no. no for me, I think like, that's if, you see if Tottenham, basically Tottenham against Liverpool, I think it will be close. I see Liverpool win the game. Tottenham against Barcelona, Barcelona will sacrifice them. Oh yeah. Um, sure. if yeah, Ajax gets yeah. the final against either Liverpool. Or Barcelona, I think we have an interesting game. 
That's, I'm not sure Ajax would win, but I think that we will have an, an interesting game. You know, because again, Ajax would be like, nobody thought we'd be here in the final. And how would Liverpool handle being the overwhelming favourites in that final? That would be very interesting. Maybe walk in yeah, favour. But in my view, Barcelona are not, Messi is not losing a final to anybody. That's not happening. So, yeah. fully 1,000 percent. See, the only way the Barcelona do not win the Champions League is if Liverpool take them out. If Barcelona get past Liverpool, it's a wrap. It's, it's, it's over. Like, Ajax yeah, and exactly. Tottenham, they don't stand. See, Ajax have a chance against Liverpool. Tottenham, yeah. if we close, I think they, they, they lose. Tottenham and Ajax, zero chance against Barcelona. The, against Messi, the final, no way. Yeah, I, no way. I, I don't think yeah, that would be impossible, man. So, um, look, man, guys, it's a wrap, man. I'll see you guys here. How about, how about the how about the United Man City? That's like a title. Everyone's Liverpool fans are like waiting on that game because no, that, man. Who wins? No, no, yeah. man. So, so, to put very very simply, that team that I watched against Everton are going to get baptized, baked, cooked, and pledged <laughs> um, by uh, yeah, Man City. Exactly. All right, guys, it's been swell. I'll see you guys on Sunday, man. See you guys.